Hello everybody, how do I sound? How am I sounding here? Um, I'm running a little bit behind, so I'm still getting things a little bit set up here, so it'll be just a second longer. Um, but I do have a little song that I want to show you beforehand, but let me know how I sound uh, before I do that. Okay, I got a quick thing I want to show you guys while I'm getting the last bit set up. Um, this is a audio thing that, uh, it's basically like a little skit that Jules and I made um, last week for our friend's uh, Christmas album. Every year my, my friends come out with a Christmas album and they ask everybody to, uh, all their friends to submit something to it. And this was what we submitted to it. I think you guys are going to really like it. It's more of a skit than a song, but... Um, yeah, uh, I'll play that, and then uh, I'll be on in just a sec. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Okay, kitties, it's Christmas Eve. Time for Betty Bye. Look, uh, one story and hit the sack, eh? All right, Uncle Louie. How about the night before Christmas? Yeah, how about that? I mean the poem. Say it, please. All right. Please. Okay, okay. Close your eyes, huh? Now get the picture. It was a dark night, see? And there was, like, snow. And there's these house, see? see? And Mom and I were snestled uh, down for a long winter's nap, and... She in a black denim kerchief, and me in my motorcycle cap, you see, and there rose these hooves on the roofs, the hoofs on the roof. I'll tell you, it's more like a clatter up there. You get the picture? But Uncle Louie, do it from the start, like, twas the night before okay, Christmas. Okay, okay. And... All right, close your eyes, huh? Twas the night before, uh, the night before... Christmas. Ah, oh, yeah, Christmas. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, right? Right. Okay. Now these children were all snestled, all snug in the beds. Well, they weren't necessarily snestled, you know? They were, uh, I'll tell you, they had these visions of, you know, uh, sweet plums? Sugar plums. Look, uh, just close your eyes. Okay, Uncle Lou. But when does the Santa Claus part come? I'm coming to it. I'm coming to it, huh? Get the picture, eh? Remember when I told you about that roof, roof where there rose such a clatter up there? Remember that? Yes. Well, that clatter comes from this little bitty sleigh that was fastened to these eight tiny deer. They had these little deer feet, you know? Uh-huh. Well, that sleigh was driven by this guy. He had these whiskers, kind of like Grandpa Bobby, only white. You dig? I dig. All right. His eyes, how they twinkle. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks, eh? Uh, well, what he had there was his belly. It was pretty funny with all that ho-ho-ho and all that. And I had to laugh, like, in spite of myself, you know? But Uncle Lou, 
Close your eyes, eh? But the reindeer, you forgot where Santa whistled and shouted and called them by name. Okay, all right, I'm coming to that. Now get the picture, eh? Ready for the names? Yes, yes. You sure you're snestled in your bed? I'm snestled, I'm snestled. All right, here they come. Now Dasher. Why is his name Dasher? Now Dancer, now Prancer, now Marlin, now Gino. Hold it. Now Lola. Hold it. Bridget. Uncle Lou. Remember their names? It's Dasher, ah. Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. Close your eyes, huh? Remember that jolly fellow I told you about uh, steering them deers? Yes. Well, he came sliding through this here fireplace, or uh, spreading a bunch of toys, and took off, you know, and uh, the silly moon there eh? looked over his shoulder and hollered his darling Liv. Excuse me for the moment. Uncle Lou's asleep, but what St. Nick really said was, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. All right, I get the picture. Okay, what'd you guys think? I hope you liked it. All right, let me switch this now. Scoobity boobity, jibbity bop. Turn on the. Uh, man, I forgot the magic spell. Oh well, I'll just click the button instead. Hey everybody! <laughs> Gosh, I'm so weird. Hey everybody! Welcome to the live stream. Today we're gonna be crocheting a Christmas present. I hope you guys like that little intro uh, song or not skit. That little intro skit that uh, me and Jules made for my friend's Christmas album. Um, you can find that Christmas album at, um, oh, geez, I, I don't even know how to find it. Hold on, let me find it. Uh, I know it's on Bandcamp, so that's not very helpful, huh? Um, let's see, let's see, hold on. Oh, I found a link, hold on. Copy. Okay. There you go, I put it in the comments there. That's the album. There we go. All right, so <laughs> I'm a little uh, today, you know. I'm I'm kind of always a little, but I'm especially today. So I'm sorry about that. But we are making today a Christmas present. All right. So uh, sorry, I'm just getting the pattern set up. So if you want to crochet this along with me, uh, these are the things that you're gonna need. Um, you're going to need all worsted weight yarn. I'm going to be using worsted weight 100% cotton yarn, which is actually pretty important for this pattern because it's very like, it it's very important that you have like a specific shape, um, and you can make it in a bunch of different sizes. But you're going to need two different colors. You're going to need your main color and your secondary color. Um, for my main color, I'm going to be using uh, this red today. Uh, this is going to be for the box, and then for the secondary uh, string, we're going to be using this white. And then we're gonna make a seahorse to go inside of it. Hopefully we have enough time to make all this. This is quite a um, an undertaking. So we have quite a lot to do today. So I probably should just get rocking and rolling, but let's get through all these little skedats before we rock and roll. So the first thing I wanna say is we're doing a giveaway today. If you want a chance to win a $20 gift card to the Club Crochet store and um, or, or a $5 gift card to the Clip Crochet store. All you gotta do is guess what is in this gift box. What do you think's in here? All you gotta do is guess that. There is a link in the top of the description for where you can guess. Um, you get one guess each, so only one guess, uh, and the first person to get it right will win. Anybody who gets it right after that will win a smaller amount of money. Um, I have hints. Um, I only have one hint prepared, so I have to like think of the other hints as we go. Um, so, wish me luck there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and guess that in the description. If you'd like to uh, support this channel, there are a few ways you can do so. The first way and cheap, easy way is just like this video down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and yeah. 
if you want to support this channel a little bit more financially, there's a few different ways you can do that too. The first is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns, they get access to uh, future patterns coming out early, uh, they get exclusive access to a bunch of different patterns like uh, this, pa this month's Elf on a Shelf, um, and they get kits mailed to the door each month with all the materials that they need to make whatever we're making that month. This month's kit was either for an Elf on the Shelf or a Christmas present, so this is actually uh, the crochet along for some pro members out there. So. Hello, pro members that are crocheting along with me. If you are out there crocheting and you're a pro member, say hi in the chat. Um, also, next month's Club Crochet Pro Kit is going to be for this little fella. I am so excited. This is a pattern by um, uh, Philip Haw, a.k.a. Uh, Sir Pearl Gray. We're doing another collaboration pattern, and this one is so cool. It's a reversible corgi, so check it out. This side. Oh, he's so cute. And then you go pop. Wrong way. There we go. And now he's grumpy. Isn't that cute? Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. So this is next month's Club Crochet Pro Kit. If you want to sign up now for a Pro Kit, uh, you have until January 1st, until the new year, to sign up for it. So sign up now or forever hold your hooks. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm very, very excited about this. Uh, and this will be in the rough drafts. Uh, I think today I, I have the PDF ready to give out for rough drafts uh, and I could use some feedback so I'm gonna be probably tossing that up in the rough drafts today uh, so keep a lookout there for that all right well let's put that to the side other ways you can help support this channel is with by purchasing merch we got little stickers we got um, some pins Boop -ba -da -boo. Uh, there's a brand new rainbow pin coming out like next week and uh, burp pins are back in the store Let's see what else. Oh, that's right. Uh, you can help support with a donation, and we got a big, we got a big one to start off with. Cooper, Cooper, you're the best. Be the, I don't have a song. I should have prepared a song for you, Cooper. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much, Cooper. You rock. Cooper tips twenty-five dollars, saying that skit was adorable. Happy holidays, Lou. Thank you so much, Cooper. You rock my socks. Thank you. Like, what a way to start. What a what a holiday, what a holiday spirit. I love it. Um, okay, so for Cooper, everybody who donates, we put out something uh, during the live stream that you can that will just be out here to say hello. And how about we start with that white picnic from last week? Just because I think he's so cute, I still need to add all the instructions for this white Pikmin uh, to add to the to the website but oh my god and I just know that Cooper is a big fan of Pikmin uh, he, we are friends on Pikmin Bloom and he sends me uh, little things all the time so I'm gonna put this out for him he doesn't like to sit very well he's just very light so we're gonna have his creepy I guess it's kind of creepy when you look at it like that you know the little beady little eyes there looking at us Ooh. <laughs> okay, so we need to make something big enough. We need to make a box big enough to fit a seahorse. Now, this is not the seahorse that we're going to fit in it. We're going to actually crochet one for it. But it's a good idea for getting a general size. I think I think we could probably fit one into a box about this size. So I think this is going to be the large box. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna be making a large box today and we're gonna go pretty high with it and we're gonna keep this seahorse close at hand so we can measure it as we're going. Um, and we're gonna use red for our box and we're gonna save the white for the strap in a little bit. And uh, let's start by making the lid. Sage, welcome to the chat. You are back, what did you miss? You didn't miss much except for a little um, a little uh, skit that I that me and Jules made that we played at the beginning. I'll play it again at the end though for you. And Anna Glita, I saw your message before you retracted it. Hello, Anna. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna start by just making the lid of our um, gift box. Now I haven't made this pattern in like a whole year, so I've got quite a lot to um to 
to focus on today. So let's see how distracted I get. Let's see how distracted you guys get me while I'm trying to make this pattern simultaneously. <laughs> Oh, you want to hear, uh, Jasmine says that they want to hear my thoughts on Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I actually haven't gotten it yet. Um, I've been playing a game called Loop Hero on the Switch, uh, which is just like this indie game that's very unique. I've never played a game really like it. But I haven't gotten to Brilliant Diamond, Brilliant Diamond and Pearl yet, although Diamond and Pearl are my favorite Pokemon games. Um, they're the ones that I've played the most when I was in high school. I used to be obsessed with them. Uh, and me and my friends would do tournaments all the time. And Yeah, so I'm very excited about it. I need to get it. Uh, I really like the art style a lot. I like the little chibi uh, style of everything. So I'm pretty excited. What do you think about it, Jasmine? Do you like the game? Is it good? Who's your favorite uh, Pokemon from that generation? I think mine is... The one that um, either Gardevoir, or not Gardevoir, Gallade. Gosh, I love Gallade, and I think that's from that one. Or um, the one that Electrovire evolves into. I really like that Pokemon a lot, but I can't remember the name of it. But uh, which Diamond and Pearl starter? Probably um, the turtle, but it's not turtle. It's like a turtle. It's like a... It's like a tortoise. Um, tor tor what's the turtle? What What's that one's name? I really like that one. The one that turns into essentially like a whole island. The giveaway today, Sage, is uh, we are giving away a $20 gift card to the Club Crochet store if you can guess what is in this gift box. You only get one guess, though, and I'm going to be slowly giving out more and more hints. i got to keep thinking about hints uh, as we go which is gonna be pretty tough to do while we're in the middle of live streaming. Um, you can guess by using the link at the top of the description there. Um, it, it's in the top of the description. That's where you can guess the giveaway and then we're gonna show off what is in that box at the end of this live stream. I hope you guys like it. I kinda tried to like, I, I'm gonna give you a special hint now, which is that it's a little trickier than normal. I think it's a li I, I think it's a trickier one. It's, it was more of Jules's idea, but yeah. Turtwig, yes, that's the one, Turtwig. I love Turtwig. It's so cute, and it turns into a freaking like island. You could live on top, on the back of a tort, tortle, tort, tort, what's its name? What's the evolved form's name? But yes, Turtwig is the one I'm thinking about. Fran the Nerd. That is a very interesting question. I don't know if anybody's ever asked me if they could commission a pattern. Um, I think the answer is going to be it depends on the pattern. Because I'm not going to make like a crazy detailed one, but I might be interested. Um, why don't you email me and let's see how that goes. Uh, email me at louis at Uh But the answer is a maybe. The answer is a maybe. Cold-Blooded Adventures. Hey, Louie, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? It's a nice, rainy, stormy day outside here in, in San Francisco. Torterra. Yep, that's its name. Uh, which is great. I love, I love it when it's rainy. Uh-oh, I just went on autopilot and wasn't paying attention. And I'm supposed to do... Something different here. So we're supposed to go a single crochet and then an increase twice. By the way, this pattern is totally free on the website if you want to crochet it with me. Um, it is a free tutorial. There's a video and everything. I'm, I'm actually really proud of this pattern because it's very, um, it's just very unique, I think, for, for my patterns, as, as far as my patterns go. Um, it was a very interesting problem to solve. I was like, okay, how do we crochet a box? So it's pretty cool. Right now I'm actually working on a rose. Um, that's what I've been working on the past few days. Um, I don't really have anything to show off yet, but I've been working on a rose for Valentine's Day. Uh, 
like as our Valentine's Day crochet kit. And it's going pretty good. It's very interesting how to uh, like to design a, a flower. Uh, it's just more, I don't know, it's just unique. It's a, it's a unique problem to solve because I don't really know, like I don't have a rose to like take apart and figure out how they're put together. So it's kind of like interesting how to convert it into crochet. Um, but I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Isis Simmons uh, asks, what are we making? We are making a present. We are making a last minute Christmas gift for a family member or a friend, whoever really we want to send it to. I got to think about who to send this to. I got to think about who likes seahorses because today we are making a seahorse to go into our present. Uh, per your request, uh, I put a, a form on or a, a, a poll out yesterday where everybody voted uh, and seahorse barely won so yeah we're making a seahorse today i realized after i posted it i was like oh boy a seahorse yay that's gonna be that's gonna be trickier than the other ones because <laughs> the other ones i put on there were a lot easier but everybody wants a seahorse so what you what you gonna do you know you gotta you gotta give the people what they ask for <laughs> Jasmine, um, I think your best shot for like an, a legit meetup would be um, uh, the, what's it called? Stitches West. Because um, I'm going to be at Stitches West in March. And that's a pretty big one. Uh, and it's pretty close. It's in Sacramento, I think. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that some people come out and say hi to me. I'm going to have a booth there. Uh, and it might be kind of a fun way to say, come say hello and come hang out. Maybe play a quick game of like Stitched or Lava Run with me. Uh, if I hopefully I have the time to do something like that, that'd be really cool just to play like Lava Run. By the way, does I I don't not everybody here in the chat probably knows what Lava Run is because it's not out yet. But it is a game that I'm working on. It's a new game that I'm working on. Um, that is a lot more uh, easy, a lot easier to play, a lot easier just in general than uh, Stitched is. It's just like, it's a lot more condensed, built for like quicker play, whereas Stitched is kind of more intense. So I'm pretty excited about that. What day, what day, what day, what day? Let's see, let's find out. Stitches West, I'm just gonna Google it. March 3rd to the 6th, and I'll be there every day. So March 3rd to the 6th is when it is, and it's in Sacramento. Honestly, if you just Google Stitches West, you'll find it there. One, three, and then an increase. But Jasmine, I would absolutely love to see you, to say hello and to actually meet you in person. That would be awesome. You've been here for like a long time too, so it would be really cool to say like, "Oh my God, hey!" <laughs> be like, "Oh my gosh, you actually look like your thumbnail." <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to recognize you. I wonder if I'll be like, "Oh my gosh, that's Jasmine." That'd be cool. I wonder if you'll recognize me. Maybe you'll see me in person. And you'll be like, "Wow, he is way shorter than I thought." Guess how tall I am. That's right, I'm three foot four. I'm a very tiny person. Not really, I'm not three foot four. Because I wear stilts. The stilts help a lot. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, we are cruising. We're cruising. So we're making, I'm making the, um, the lid of our present right now. And I'm trying to crochet a little bit tighter than I normally would. Um, maybe not as much for this lid, but I'm going to, I think, you know what? I think after we make this lid, I'm gonna get um, a little bit of a tighter crochet hook maybe, or smaller crochet hook so that it's a little bit tighter. One, two, three, four, six. right yes I also was thinking maybe I'll try app 
Brand Con Flowers got it right on the money. That is exactly how tall I am. 5'8 on a real on a good day when the moon is in the perfect position. <laughs> Well, hopefully sooner or later I'll be able to come out to a, a knitting or crochet event in the UK. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool to me. What are you guys making today? Anybody else making a last minute Christmas gift? Um, by the way, if you need some last, last second Christmas gifts and you're like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to get a Christmas gift for, for Grandma Susie. You know, everybody's got a Grandma Susie. And if you forgot to get your get a Christmas gift for Grandma Susie, uh, check out my quick stitch patterns. I think you can just find them by going to clubcrochet.com slash quick. Uh, it might also be one of the things in the, like the, the top banner. Um, those are my patterns that take only half an hour to make. I, I've sorted them out so that you can make them really, really quick just in case like you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to a party and I totally forgot to bring a white elephant gift or something. That is why those p patterns are there. So if you need a last minute Christmas pattern, uh, Christmas gift, that's where to go. Okay, so we got the top done. I think I might try putting like a little piece of um, cardboard under once I make all this to keep it like more sturdy. Cause you can see this one's like a little bit, it's just got a little lumpiness to it, which I don't know, it's kind of nice, but I kind of want to make it less lumpy if I can. Okay, so we did all that. Now we need to. Okay, so we need to go. We're doing a. Um, actually, yeah, so we do a slip stitch in the next one. And then I chain two. And we start in the same stitch working the back loop. Oh, yes, now I remember. This is a really interesting. Um, system I have here so check this out actually I can show you a little up close here let me do this first one and then I'll because the first one's a little tough but then after I finish the first one I can show you a little closer oopsies one sec. okay so when I made this pattern uh, I realized that you could do pa uh, stitches here let me zoom in here I'll show you guys nice and up close Check, 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 check it out. All right, so check this out. Um, when we're doing this pattern, we want to make this, uh, the lid here, let's go a little better focus. There we, we want to make the lid here go like straight up, you know, so that it like perfectly goes on top of the present. And the trick that I use for making it go like perfectly, um, like a perfect angle is I crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. So like, instead of going under both loops like we normally would, I go only under the back loop. But also, gosh, it's hard to get this focus right. But also under this other loop. See, there's two loops there. And we're trying to go under both of them at the same time. So we're going under, this is the back loop. And we're going under this little back bar here from the last round. And it kind of points the stitches going straight north. I mean, I mean straight like angle, perfect angle. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing into this round. So I hope that helps if anybody is interested in how this is actually being done. Let's just, actually, let's see what happens when we change it to autofocus. And let's hope that works better. But yeah, so that's what we're doing here. Iris is making whales the country. Just kidding. Um, I uh, actually really want to do a crochet pattern for some whales, hopefully pretty soon. I need to get started on our, um, on the, the, what's it called? Easter, or the, the crochet for Earth Day celebration that we're going to do next, this year. Um, if you've been following along last year, we did a Let's Crochet for Earth Day thing where uh, me and two other amigurumi designers all designed an amigurumi of a um, an endangered creature 
and then we did a fundraiser to raise money for the World Wildlife Fund using the crochet patterns so that uh, all the funds from the patterns go to the World Wildlife Fund. And we raised, I think we raised like $5,000 maybe? It was a pretty decent amount uh, last year, but I'm hoping we can up it even more this year. We're going to do it in April, and I need to get started. And I was kind of thinking about a whale for mine. I don't know yet, though, what I want to do for it. We're gonna. I have to see what the other designers want to do first. I have to find some other designers, too, but... But yes. But yes. What else are people making? Llama Place is making a very, very fat reindeer. <laughs> he needs to go to the gym. I love it. He's, he's going to have a hard time flying. Um, Jasmine says they were looking at the website for Stitches, the event that I'm going to do in March and uh says that there's an emission free day on sunday and for the market i think i am going to be in the market um at least that's where my i think that's the situation regardless if you come and i'm not in the market i can come out to say hello i'll figure it out i don't think it's that much money also to go but i'm not sure when will we get the first hint? That's a great question. Um, how about after I finish our lid here, we can do our first hint. We only have a uh, two more rounds to go for this lid. So we're actually almost done with it already. We can see see how it's making like it go really sharp, a sharp turn there because we're working into both those loops. Little little trick for you. Let me know, let me know what you think of that. I like that trick. Valerie's having a tough time with the horns for her dinosaur. What dinosaur are you making? I tried Ceratops, right? I think that's what you said earlier. Oopsies. I don't want to get this little loop there. We got a loose loop. I'm so excited for Christmas. We actually have... Um, we're not, me and Jules aren't going anywhere for Christmas. Uh, COVID's just getting a little too, too intense this year. So we're staying home this year to be safe. And, uh, but we have a lot of Christmas gifts. They're all out under our tree. We actually don't have a tree. We just have lights that we put on the wall because if we get an actual Christmas tree, the cats will freaking attack it till it's dead. So we're like, okay, let's just do lights on the wall in the shape of a tree and it actually turned out really really cute so i'm very excited about that uh and yesterday i put all of our presents under the tree and it was like oh my gosh we have so many christmas gifts to open i'm very excited i'm very excited i got jules a bunch of christmas gifts honestly i got her too many christmas gifts don't tell her but i actually am holding off on some of them I'm like, okay, her birthday's in February. I won't give her all these gifts because I bought her too much. <laughs> I was like, I'll give her some of these on for her birthday instead. Ooh, Loda is making a bunny with some overalls. As a bunny should wear, you know? I'm pretty sure bunnies and overalls go together like bunnies and overalls. As they say. I'm pretty sure that's the saying. <laughs> Takoyaki, how's the my December been? Busy. Busy. Um, just a long, like, trying to get everything done in time. Kit sales on the Etsy shop have been, like, a lot this year. So it's been a little bit um, hard to keep up. Uh, but luckily, I have Nicole helping out with kits. So we are, we're rocking and rolling. We're almost through with it. So we're just trying to power through the end, end days here. But uh, yeah, it has been a very, very, very busy uh, December. Okay, this stitch here, I think that'll be stitch number 40. And let's go ahead and make sure to 
pinch all these ends in. So you gotta, you gotta pinch it into a box a little bit. And then we'll do another round. And then I'll give you your first hint. And let me think about what we want to do for a second hint. Why would I do this? Got, I'm trying to think about a hint that is like, that is like not on the nose too much, but also not too, like, not too abstract of a hint. It's kind of hard to find something right in between the two, you know? We don't need this tail end anymore, so we'll cut that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, last round here, we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch. Wh Rachel, what Christmas gifts have I made? Well, luckily, um, some mostly Christmas gifts I actually made on this live stream. So, the um, Wilbur, the snowman that we made, uh, not last weekend, but the weekend before that, uh, I gave to my mom for Christmas. She actually already opened it up. I made her a few different hats to add to it. Um, so if you weren't here for that live stream, what we did was we crocheted a snowman that had different um, like parts that you could add on to him. So he had a Rudolph nose and uh, some reindeer ears, or reindeer antlers. And, uh, and then we also have a top hat for it. And I added a pirate hat in there too. And I made some arms for it. Um, Actually, you might have seen the, I made a, um, like a YouTube short last week for a, um, for how to crow, or how to make some, uh, snowman arms. You might have seen it. It was pretty cool. I think, I think I'm pretty happy with that. But she loved the snowman. I'm so excited. So that was, that was one of my gifts. Um, I gave my brother one of, uh, the, uh, the Audrey 2s that we crocheted during the live streams. Honestly, these live streams are just a great excuse for me to make like a bunch of gifts for, for friends and, and family. I still haven't figured out what to give my dad though. I'm, I'm a little behind when it comes to my dad B. He's, you know, dads are the toughest ones to make gifts for though. What are you getting, what are you getting your parents? They're so hard to get gifts for. Okay, almost done with this round and then I'll give you our first hint. I think I've got an idea for our second hint, which is good. And I also wanna get a tighter crochet hook for the body of this present too so that it's a little bit tighter of uh, stitches so let's get all that after this after these short messages and we need some coffee obby okay so I went ahead and slip stitched there a beer holder that's not a terrible idea actually he does like beer what dad doesn't like beer I feel like every dad likes beer and, and I'm like, I kind of like beer. Like, beer's fine, whatever. But, uh, I like, I like LaCroix more. I like, like, bubbly water more. But anyhow, um, maybe when I become a dad, it'll, I'll be obsessed with beer. Gosh, I love beer. Okay. So I did the little hidden end there. Go ahead and cut that. You know, I think what we could also do, I'm not gonna do this, but I think we could probably put this in like starch. Or we could like spray it with some kind of like starchy water and it would hold its shape really, really well. So that's another option we could do. But look at, that's a pretty good box top. You know, not bad. So we'll go ahead and put that right here. And let's do our first hint for the giveaway. Okay, so all you gotta do again for this giveaway, I'll put the link in the chat again. We'll do that right there. Actually, we'll do this. We'll put this in the chat again, the link for where to enter for the giveaway. A second. Oh, 
Oopsies, that's that's not the right link. Send. I think this is the right one. Hopefully this is the right link. Wait. Hold on. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Guess here. There we go. Okay, so I added a link to the chat. Um, all you have to do is guess what's in this box. And our first hint is how many stitches are in this pattern. So what is in this box is a pattern that I made from the Club Crochet Library. So it's a pattern in the library right now. Um, it fits in this box, obviously. Uh, I didn't crochet it with any, like I crocheted it with the yarn that is specific for the pattern. And the first hint is the number of stitches. So this is gonna be on screen during this live stream here in the corner. So number of stitches in this pattern, there's 192 stitches in this pattern. Now you can do it with more or less stitches depending on how you make what is in here. But this pattern, the one that's currently in here has 192 stitches to it. So there is your first hint. I'll come back with a second hint in a little bit after we make, um, maybe once we make some of the, uh, the, you know, the body of this present. And it's not going to take too long to make the body of this present. So I think it's probably safe to like take our time here, especially since I don't have too many hints. But I have some. I've got a few and I'm thinking of more. We're gonna put it right here. We're gonna put it right there. Put it there, put it there, pal. It's a pleasure, put it there. Oh wow, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. So I was singing Christmas songs to Jules earlier and she said that her least favorite Christmas song is the one that I was singing, which is Christmas time is here. Time for joy and cheer. Which is like the least joyful and cheerous Christmas, cheery Christmas song I think there is probably. What do you think? Ooh, we gotta make sure that we add the holes in the bottom. So we gotta, I gotta make sure that I look there on the pattern. So if you're crocheting along with me in this pattern, I actually show how to make it so that you leave holes in the bottom of it so it can sit flat like this. So we gotta remember to do that or else uh, it won't sit flat. Hello, the crochet corner. Welcome to the chat. Oh, well that's okay, they can't sit. Oh wait, I forgot, I wanted to get a tighter crochet hook. So I'm sizing down one, just one. We're going from an E to a G, or, or, or G to an E, which is uh, 0 0.5 millimeters down. Uh, we're just gonna see how much that like helps us keep our stitches a little bit tighter. So I don't have to like hold my hand like too tight. You know, you know what I mean? And plus it's red, it's perfect. It's perfect for the video. but it is barely smaller. It's a barely smaller crochet hook. Let's see how, I've never, I don't usually use a crochet hook this small, so we'll see how much it changes the stitches. Um, but I'm hoping it makes it a little bit smaller, just barely. Jasmine also doesn't like that song. Have I ever made Ursula from the Little Mermaid? You know, I haven't, but someone did make a, an Ursula version of the squid that was for a um like a club crochet challenge that we did a few like a month a few months ago for the octopus crochet challenge um that was really cool you should check it out i think you can find it at just clubcrochet.com slash challenge uh that's where i put the challenge and i put all of the um the people that won the challenge there and i think they won 
Actually, it might have been Jasmine. Jasmine, was it you that did that? It might have been. I can't remember who exactly did that. Ooh, this is making the stitches much tighter. We might actually end up having to make remake the lid to work better with this. But we'll see. We will see. We will see. What's your guys' favorite Christmas movie? I was thinking about that a lot recently. We watched, um... We watched the Christmas movie, uh... Klaus. It's on Netflix. It's like a new Christmas movie. It's an animated one, and it was really good. I think it's like Jason Schwartzman is in it, and like... Uh, Norm MacDonald, rest in peace. Uh, he was, he does a voice in it. And it was really good. I liked it a lot. But I'm not sure what my favorite one is. Maybe Die Hard? I really like Die Hard. People say it's not a Christmas movie, but it definitely is a Christmas movie. And a really good one. Christmas movie is the new version of Grinch. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. The one with um, Benedict Cumberbatch as Grinch. I've been wanting to watch that. Your Jasmine's favorite Christmas movie is The Polar Express. Interesting. I am not a fan of The Polar Express. I think that movie is really creepy. Um, it's just like the animation. It it goes into the unca Uncanny Valley to me. You know what the Uncanny Valley is? The Uncanny Valley is the... Um, like when something is just slightly too realistic. Oh, I did not need to undo that. Oh well. Just slightly too like realistic. But not realist not real. So it's like very obviously like kind of weird looking. I don't know. There's something about the Polar Express that creeps me out. Although I sure do love me some Tom Hanks. Who doesn't love Tom Hanks, though? Leaf Sauce, welcome to the chat. Really, Cat, you study the Uncanny Valley? What's what's something else that's very Uncanny Valley-ish? People say that um, the Dark Crystal, the Jim Henson Studios... Uh, movie is very uncanny valley and i can see that but i actually really like the dark crystal a lot oh i know what my favorite christmas movie is my favorite christmas movie is uh the muppets a christmas carol that's my favorite christmas movie i love that movie the christmas card i've never heard of that movie rebecca Okay, so now we're on our next round. So we got one, two, and then it increases. Desiree! We've missed you as well. How are you doing, Desiree? How's your holiday going? Rachel says that Tom Hanks played six roles in the Polar Express. How is that possible? What did he play? Did he play Santa and stuff? Oh my gosh, yes. The CGI baby from Twilight is absolutely Uncanny Valley. That is the creepiest baby ever. Jules and I actually just watched all the, um, the, uh, uh, all the Twilight movies like this year and I have to say the last two Twilight movies I really liked them a lot I think they were actually really good but I do think that it is the silliest thing the silliest thing in all of the Twilight movies 
is the fact that uh, that um, what's his name? The werewolf dude uh, imprints on Bella's unborn baby and it's like it's just so dumb. It's just really dumb. It basically the one rule above all other rules for werewolves is dibs. They get to call dibs. Yeah, Jacob, that's his name. They get to call dibs. It's just so silly. Oh, Desiree, I didn't finish the cardinal pattern. There was just so much going on this month that I just didn't get it getting getting dit to it in time. Getting dit to it in time. I can speak good, like. I'm very sorry. It has just been a crazy month with all the new patterns and all the new things that I wanted to do. I thought I would get a little bit further ahead, but I just didn't. Okay. So, one. And then, doom, doom, doom. Oh, I see. So we're making it just, okay. It's great. I love looking back at old patterns that I do and going like, what was I looking for here? But then realizing what I did and going like, oh yeah, actually that totally works. But I will try to work on the cardinal pattern ASAP or just like more burbs in general soon. We have big plans. For. Me and Nicole came up with like a really big uh, strategy for next year. Not like strategy, but like we kind of mapped out a little bit of what we wanted for the start of the year to kind of give myself a little bit more like brain space to design the things that I want to design next year ahead of time. So that way I have more space in the months that we're actually coming out with stuff to, to just have fun. Um, so that's kind of like the idea there. But one of them, obviously, we're adding like more burbs next year. We're doing, uh, we're adding frogs and friends, uh, which are coming out soon. All the Pikmin, bunch of flowers, new animals, new dinosaurs, a bunch of stitch stuff. I'm super duper excited for next year. Angel, welcome. Whoa, that is a dope idea, Desiree. I want to try to make it. I should have, you know what? I have so many of these castles. Man, I should have given a castle to someone for Christmas. That would have been a good one. Um, Abrande Con Flowers asks, Are, am I a Studio Ghibli fan? Absolutely, I'm a Studio Ghibli fan. I mean, who's not a Stu Studio Ghibli fan, though? Studio Ghibli is the best. You gotta, you gotta love him. Miyazaki films. Oh, he's the best. My, I think my favorite Miyazaki film is Spirited Away, probably. Um, I mean, I love Totoro, but like, Spirited Away is so good. Or How's Moving Castle is really beautiful. Gosh, I don't know. Nah, Spirited Away. Spirited Away is my favorite. Did I get my standing desk? I did get my standing desk. It's actually right there. It's right behind me right now. It's very messy right now, but it is standing and desk. It is standing and desk. I need more coffee. I need more coffee or else. Or else. Actually, we should put out our little coffee guy. Where is he? Here he is. He still needs a coffee cup. Here we go. Sven can be here judging our coffee choices. What do you think, Sven? Tastes good? Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Look at my beagle. It's a very silly beagle mug. I've had this since I was a little kid. But I love it because it's giant. Look how big it is. It's like as big as my head.
Gotta love giant, giant mugs. Takoyaki's going to bed. Night, night, Takoyaki. Thanks for joining. I know, right? Look at that top knot. Mmm. Boy's, boy's looking handsome. Put him here. He'll be back. He'll be back. We're not done with coffee yet. I need to put him, uh... Okay. How is my back feeling? It is... Okay. Ish. Um, it's been worse. Uh, but I did drive down south, uh, for a Christmas... My, my friend's Christmas get-together. Me and, like, a couple of friends get together every year and do, like, a secret Santa. And so I drove down to... LA it took like eight hours and I drove down on Friday and then I drove back on Sunday so that was not great <laughs> that that did some damage to my back I gotta say but it's okay whatever whatever okay one two three and then we skip our first One here. One. I like this little jam. Very calming. Christmas music is so calming. What is a quick pattern to make? So I was just actually talking about that, uh, Angel. Um, I think I have a bunch of really quick patterns at clubcrochet.com slash quick. Actually, like that's the that's where you find all my super fast patterns. But I think my fastest patterns are probably like the piglet, the um, or the uh, uh, triceratops. Those ones are really quick. All of my dinosaurs really are are not that are, are pretty fast. Um, yeah. Yeah, goblins. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm fine. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the one I'm gonna skip, right? Looking at the pattern. Looking at the pattern. Chain two. And skip a stitch. So what I'm doing here when I do these chains is I'm making our little holes for the the straps for our present gift box. I really, really like this pattern because I feel like giving a gift to someone, like an actual crocheted gift box with a crocheted gift on, in, on the inside is so extra and so Christmassy. And I just, I love that. I love that. Yeah, the snowman is pretty fast too. Um, Desiree, how is self-employment going? It is going well. I think I kind of overworked myself a bit, but you know what? I'm kind of totally super okay with that because uh, it's my job, so I get to do whatever I want. Um, and yeah, I, honestly, I love it. The 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 amount of time that I've been able to actually like crochet stuff. I mean, you can probably tell because December, uh, November, December. I made so many crochet patterns. Um, yeah, and like I've just been flying on crochet patterns and doing tutorials, doing these live streams. It just has helped de stress me so, so, so much. Which has been really, really nice. Oh, wow, thank you for subscribing. I don't know if you're watching this right now, but Cassie Dobby is free and. Fun ambulistic. Uh, all has all have subscribed in the past 30 minutes, so I just want to say thank you so much for your subscription. I really appreciate that. Two, four. 
So next live stream, I'm thinking about doing like a um, like the best of for 2021. So looking at all of our patterns that came out last year and going like, okay, which pattern is our favorite and crocheting some of some stuff that we made last year. I'm thinking that's going to be the first live stream in the new year. That's kind of what we did this year is we did a 2020 in retrospective or something. I don't remember what I called it. But what do you guys think was your favorite pattern that came out on for Club Crochet last year? So you can help me um, narrow down our options. I'm kind of thinking that the sloth might be one of my favorite ones that came out last year. Um, Cause that was a really cool one. Or, I mean, there were some amazing burbs that came out last, this year. Not sure. I think I'm gonna sneeze again. You know, it, what happens is when I'm crocheting in this little bitty box is we get all these little, these little fluffies that fly up and into my nose and they attack my brain. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. That's the scientific, scientific analysis. Otter, yeah, that's a good, that is a really good one, Sunshine. I totally agree. I think that one is maybe one of the best. Audrey 2, yep, that one was great. Oh my gosh. I forget about, like, I forgot. I forgot about Audrey 2 since it just came out so recently, you know? It's been a heck of a year for, for crocheting, at least for me. I've made so many different weird things. Okay, that was 6B. As a single stitch, okay. So from now on, all we need to do is just crochet it up so that it is as tall as we want it. And we're gonna use our seahorse as our reference. So we want it to be about that, this tall, so that it actually fits in there, you know? So a pretty tall, a pretty tall gift, all things considered. Oh, and the squid, oh, and the squid. Yes, oh my gosh, wow. I hope I, I hope I come up with as many cool patterns next year as I did this year. I'm so proud of this year for crocheting. It's just been a great one. Oh, and the dragon, man, dang, dude. Yeah, the dragon's really cool. Guys, I just want you to know how much I appreciate uh, all you joining my live streams and, and talking with me and just like hanging out. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Uh, you make these days so much more fun. Okay, so we got, yeah, the, oh really Desiree, the dragon is what made you join? That's so cool. I'm super excited about next month's kit. Uh, if you're not already signed up for the pro membership, the this one, the reversible plushie, I ordered yarn for it, and it's like this high quality worsted weight wool. So it's like 100% wool, which is what I needed to use because it's like needs to be more stretchy, give it a little bit more flexibility because you're gonna flip it inside out and stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about next month's kit for that reason. Like, yeah. And plus, I just love doing patterns with uh, Philip. He's like amazing. Oh, music's a little loud. Okay, I'll turn that down for you, Sunshine. Thanks for the heads up. Oh yeah, it's way too loud. There you go. Dude, Llama Place, I have mad respect for you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you very much. Okay, what do we got? What do we got going on here? Uncle Louie. I 
I think, I mean, I'm not going to do it for this one, but I do think it might be fun next year to play around with using that, using starch to create like more solid, um, like crocheted things, you know, like crocheting them into a position and then using starch to like keep them into that position. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Rachel's like, I didn't even realize how loud it was. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Okay, so we got the bottom of it done. Now, the rest of this pattern for our box here is just going to be single crochets. And we're just going to keep going up, you know. So we're going to hold it down like this. I'm just going to go ahead and pinch it just so we have an idea. But it's just going to go boop, straight up, and then this is going to go on top of it. And look, it fits on perfect. Oh my gosh. I, I actually really like it when they're this tiny. Um, I wish I had something that could go into it when it's this small because it just looks like such a perfect little box. What a perfect little box you are. Oh my gosh, you're such a good little boy. Alexa, will I stop doing giveaways after the holidays? Heck no, obviously not. I love doing giveaways. They're my favorite. Giveaways forever. Giveaways five ever. Yeah, we're just gonna keep, uh, now we're just gonna keep crocheting around. Zoe says that they made a cornstarch solution to stiffen up parts of their crocheted guys, and it works great. That is awesome. Do, do you remember what the solution was? Like how much cornstarch to water or whatever you used? Because I'd love to give that a shot, especially for things like goblin ears that consistently like wiggly, wibble and wobble around. It might be nice to just have something that I could just like dip the ears into to keep them, give them, you know, keep their shape and stuff. Oh, hello. I cannot speak Korean, but hello to the Korean uh, person in the chat. If anybody knows Korean, how do I say hello in Korean? Yeah, starch totally might help these boxes too. Absolutely. Although this smaller crochet hook definitely helps. Like it is, this stuff, this pattern is stiff now and it doesn't hurt my hands too bad which is nice. The tricky part is going to be crocheting the seahorse after this. I guess it's not like it's that tricky. It's just, you know, it's going to take a sec. But I mean, it's coming together. Let's put our legs up. Huh? Oh, let's put our legs up. Let's relax. Let's put this down a little bit too. Wednesday crochet. I love that it's Wednesday right now. Because usually when I do these crochet live streams it's on a Sunday and then after the live stream I'm like oh no tomorrow's Monday but not today tomorrow is Thursday that's great I love Thursdays Rachel that's you know good luck on the on the Audrey kit I think it's a really 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 cool kit um, that's actually what I gave my brother for Christmas was an Audrey too because I just thought it was so cool. And he works in an office now in a cubicle. And so I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be such a great thing to have in your cubicle. <laughs> I hope he likes it. But I also bought him a, uh, a hoodie that turns into a backpack. It's like a 
it like it it looks really cool it just looks like a normal hoodie but you can like actually turn it into a backpack it like folds inside out Anyang Anyang Haseo is all you know in Korean and it means hello great Anyang Haseo hopefully I said that right I by the way as of Saturday I have been doing Duolingo in Japanese for 100 days straight. So I, uh, I'm basically a genius now. I think that's what that means. Uh, okay, Desiree says, Louie, I don't know if you have the time for the pattern, but looking at the uh, cardinal... It seems like the other burbs just done in red with white or with with a black color change between the eyes and the beak. Am I thinking that right? Yes, to a degree, you are correct. Um, the other big part of it, which I can't, I don't know where the head is. I have the body of it, but I can't find, I can't find the head anywhere. I don't know where it went, which is why... Like, I just need to remake it, basically. Um, but uh, one thing that's specific on it is that the uh, the hair, like the, the, this thing. So this is not a cardinal, obviously. This is a, this is the head of a um, cockatoo. But this part right here is the same on the cardinal. Here's a. No, I don't know where the head went. Well, here's the card. Here's the cardinal's body, and the wings and tail. These are all. It's basically like the um, the pigeon pattern with the wings, but there's an extra wing that's sewn on to the head above the beak. And you're right. Like there is black color changes behind the eyes and the beak. And then I used a spiked bobble for the beak of the cardinal. Um, but I think actually, it might be better to instead of doing a spiked bobble so like if you did a spiked bobble it would look more like like kind of like this for the beak which is not bad for the cardinal but i think it might be better to use the the beak from the raven for the cardinal because i think they have more of like a longer beak i don't know there's definitely options you can basically use a lot of the patterns that are already on the website for making your own version of the cardinal <laughs> Rainbow Girl, what is the giveaway? The giveaway is uh, you have to guess what's in that box. Oopsies, I just realized our Pikmin fell. You have to guess what's in this box here. And if you guess right, you win a uh, $20 gift card to the Club Crochet store. That's if you guess right first. If you guess right after that, you still win $5 to the store. So um, you win as long as you get it right. You only get one guess though, and I'm slowly giving more and more hints. Um, you can actually check out the hints right there. There's our first one. The number of stitches used in the pattern that is made inside of that box. Like, the pattern that I used to make whatever's in this box is 192 stitches total. So it's pretty small, as you can probably imagine. Um, last time, it was 150-something like, stitches, and it was a goblin. So you can see how tiny that is. Sunshine, I actually think I saw your little Grinch on Instagram. Um, very cool. Very, very cool. I need to crochet more Grinch Grinch related things the next year, maybe. Oh, oh, thank you for letting me know, Desiree. So uh, Zoe said that her recipe for her cornstarch mix that she does to give her crochet a little bit more stiffness um, if you want to like have something more of a like a like a model you know because you can use like cornstarch you can like spray it on or something and then it like holds its shape and her uh, recipe is one cup of 
water and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Boil till thick. Add about half a cup of cold water and dip your guys or parts of them and then squeeze in a towel, pin to the shape that you want it to be and then let it dry. So that is great. Thank you. Thank you, Zoe. I am gonna to totally try that out. I'm gonna try it out on, I don't know what yet, but something. Maybe I'll even just start on like little tiny hearts or something. So that way, just in case it doesn't work out, I'm not too worried. Or try it on like goblin ears first. That's great though. Thank you. K Novo! How you doing? Are you excited for uh Well, I don't know if you know this, but Well, maybe you do actually. It looks like you have a Spider-Man picture in your thumbnail, K Nova. Is your name K Nova after the superhero Nova? The 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 like space one? I don't no, I can't remember what his name really is. I wonder. Skinniana, Skinniania. Hello, Skinniania. How are you? Welcome to the chat. Oh, I should keep a lookout for new memberships too. Bronwyn, welcome back. Oh, I gotta do my New Zealand accent for you. Bronwyn, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Bronwyn. How are you? You doing great? I'm doing great too. Oh, that's a really good point, Zoe. Using the cornstarch mix for adding hair so that it keeps the hair in one spot. That's a smart move. Smart. As my dad would say, you're a fart smeller. I mean, a smart feller. That's what he always says. What are you, some kind of sm fart smeller? Okay, we've got one. I think we need to add one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe like six more rounds to get it to the height we want. <laughs> Spider-Man was very good. Can confirm. No spoilers in the chat. That is very important. Please do not spoil that movie because it's very good. And I don't want it to be spoiled for anybody. Um, Jules still hasn't seen it. So we're going to have to go see it soon. Um, probably after Christmas. But I agree. It was a very good movie. What is... Oh, just another story wants to know what's a great pattern to make in 3D for a complete beginner. Uh, start with the octopus pattern. It's a new pattern from our from me uh, from like a few months ago, and it's really really good for beginners. Um, it's one of my favorite beginner patterns. Uh, you can actually find it by just going to clubcrochet.com/octopus. Uh, but that is a really good starter pattern. Uh, also, the Triceratops is really good, and let's see what else. The heart, um, there's like a little tiny heart, classic heart, I think is what I call it on the website. That one's really good too. <laughs> oh, bummer. Are we doing a Christmas special together? Um, I mean, we're celebrating Christmas together, but and we're going to try to record a new episode of our podcast tomorrow. Unfortunately, because she's had surgery, she has been a little bit out of commission for for knitting. So her she didn't have too much to show for knitting. But we have an idea for how to how to make it work. Hi Sakana, Sayaka, Sa Sayaka, Amag 
Gumui. <laughs> I think I said that right. Konnichiwa. Hajimasu. Watashi wa Louis desu. Louis Toimas. That's a, that's a new one I learned. There's like 15 different ways to say my name is in Japanese. Turns out. And one of them is your name and then Toimas. Yeah, we can actually that probably is a possibility. Yeah, to show the light tree and say hi. Hopefully Jules, I mean, I think she's in the middle of, she's like working today. She actually has work right now. So I don't know if she's going to have, have a chance to actually come in and say hello to me or to you guys. Sorry. But maybe she will. Maybe on her lunch break. Well, actually, I think her lunch break already happened. What a sucker. She's got to learn how to create her own business so that way she can make her lunch break whenever she wants. <laughs> Except for in the middle of a live stream. Okay. We're cruising. So far, so good. We, want, we need to be about that tall, though. So we need a few more rounds. music is slick very jazzy we should get prepared for next the next album too oh actually oh it's already it's uh, it's, it's doing its thing Oh, Rachel, you want to know how we managed to put up a light tree? It was really easy, actually. All we did was we got hooks. Um, like, like hooks that stick onto the wall. From uh, We just got them from Walgreens. And then I just put the hook on the wall. I put one hook really high in the center of the wall. And then I, I hooked the center of the of the string of lights and I had to go out like that and then I had a hooks right here and I made it go around our hooks here and then hook right here and then out again and then in and then out and then in and then out and then in all the way and then straight down and it made it into a little Christmas tree. It was really cute. I like it. I, I hope hopefully I'll be able to show you guys soon. Oh, skinny, skinny, yeah. <laughs> Your name's hard to say. Uh, well, if it's too late there, you should just go to bed. You can rewatch this later, but I do get it. Oh, Witchy Boy uh, says that they won the coupon code from the last giveaway and was wondering where I put it in at. Um, when you go to check out on the website so if you like add something to your cart and then check out uh, there should be a little spot that says have a coupon code put it in here so that's where you can put it uh, it should be pretty simple if you still are having trouble once you give that a shot uh, just feel free to reach out um, you can either find me on um, you can find me on discord you can find me uh, by replying to the email so I emailed you that coupon code you can reply there and I'll show you where to put it um, but I'll make sure to add a picture from for future uh, uh, times that this happens. I'll make sure to add a little picture. <laughs> yeah, tape would be a nightmare. I just kind of wish that we had like more hooks so we could add little um, ornaments because we don't have any ornaments on there. Alicia, hello. How are you? Welcome to the live stream. What you up to? You got time to crochet with us today, Alicia? I love your Basset Hound picture, by the way. 
Basset hounds. I really, really like Basset hounds as dogs. I would always. Uh, that's that's the one dog that I've always really wanted was a Basset hound. There's a puppy basset hound up the street that lives up the street from us, and I see him every now and then. And it walks over its ears. It's so cute. I love basset hounds. Although I assume they're pretty, uh, like, loud. And sometimes probably pretty obnoxious. But that's kind of part of the love, you know? Tired, otherwise great. How are you? Same. Tired, otherwise great. But I have some coffee. Ooh, K Nova's listening in closely for hints for the giveaway, so I need to come up with more. <laughs> um, okay. I think I'm just gonna start to put in keywords as hints because I think that's gonna be a great way to come up with hints easier since I couldn't think of any right before the live stream. I should crochet a basset hound. I should just crochet more dogs and animals like that more often. Okay. How are we doing here? A couple more rounds, maybe like four, three or four more rounds. Should do. How many colors do you need for this pattern that we're making right now? Um, you just need two, one main color for the box, and then one for the, um, this. Oh, how many colors in this? Oh, that, that, well, well. Hold on, I will tell you soon. Actually, you know what? I can tell you now. I can tell you now, a color a color option, that's an easy one. We can do that. Well, I'll throw that into the hints. Here we go. Hint number two, colors used equals two. So there's two colors used. There you go. There's your hint. There's your double hint. I'll give you another hint ASAP. Let me just finish up a little bit more here, and then I will give you more hints. But there's your second hint. Hint number two is there are two colors used in the pattern that is in this box. I think there's only two. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, no, the live stream is going to be over when I finish the um, the seahorse to go inside of the box. So we still have at least another hour. Maybe an hour and a half. Didn't take too long to make a seahorse, but we need, you know. I actually think I'm going to try out uh, a different idea for the mouth for this pattern for the seahorse because I did a, um, like the, a, a mouth for the octopus. Uh, using like a really weird technique so that I didn't have to actively like sew on a mouth and I think I'm gonna try it on this seahorse and see how it goes I think a couple more rounds. Powering through. So I've been playing this game uh, this week also called Yoku's Island Express. I'm actually like replaying it right now. Um, I love the game. It's a really, really good game. Essentially, you are a, um, a little tiny like ant that's rolling around a ball. I think it might even be like, 
Uh, I think you're an ant. And you're rolling around a ball. And the game is a pinball. It's all, it's like a giant, giant pinball game. And uh, But it's it's set in like a world where it's like a Metroidvania. If you don't know what a Metroidvania is, it's essentially like there's this giant open world that you can go anywhere in. Um, but there are certain parts in the world that you can't get to until you unlock new abilities. Um, so that's kind of the idea of this game. It's very... Um, it is the most unique, like, one of the most unique games I've ever played. It's really cute and really, really cool. Um, highly suggested Yoku's Island Express. Big, high, da, high, high suggestion. It's a very good game. Go check it out. Go check out, like, a little YouTube video for it, and you're going to be like, oh, that is interesting. That is really cool. I betcha. I betcha. Okay, let's see how many more rounds we need here. Let's see how this goes. First off, go ahead and pinch all these corners. Ooh. See, that's the trick. You just gotta pinch the corners to make it into a box. And then this can go on top. Do, 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 do. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we got our box, but can it fit this in there? Ooh, so close. So close, maybe two more rounds. Or three. Two or three more rounds. Probably better safe than sorry. We can go three. But we're almost there. I totally agree, Rachel. I think this is a really good color choice for this box. Dun, dun, dun. Ba -da 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 -da. I have seen the new Doctor Strange teaser, and it looks insane. Very cool. I love Doctor Strange, so this this seems very like a very very exciting movie. What did you think about the trailer, Cat? Did you like it? Looks looks spooky. Looks like a an intense movie. An intense in this intense movie. Hey, what color should we make the seahorse? I need your guys' suggestions for that. Purple? That's kind of what I was thinking was a purple one, but really any any suggestions would be helpful here. I just love the color purple. Hello, Alice. How are you? Four rounds. So you think we should do four more rounds? Go real tall with it. One, two, three. That's like that tall, though. That's like a pretty tall box. So what kind of color should we use for our... Yes, purple. Rachel says purple. What other suggestions we got? We got, we could do pink, we could do green, we could do orange. Hmm. Turquoise? Yeah, we could do turquoise. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we could try doing two different colors. I haven't done two different colors. Yeah, you know what? What if we tried that? What if you try what, um, like doing the fins and stuff a different color than the top? So we do like a light purple for the body and dark purple for the fins, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah we're not going to make it a black one because it, it's just too hard. Or coral. Coral's not a bad. Actually, you know what? We have some really good coral. 
That might work. Perfect. That I haven't used it. I haven't used yet. Make it a Santa hat. I don't think we're going to have time to make it a Santa hat. Just because we got to finish this box and then we got to make it. It's, it's just we got we got work to do. I think we need just like one more round here, but let's go ahead and throw toss this guy in here. I mean, if we really squish it down, we'll be good, but let's better be safe than sorry. I think we should do at least one more round. At least one more round, maybe two. Better be safe than sorry. And then, actually, we should do that. Get the there's a way to make the inside a little bit more clean too. So we'll try that also. Oh, I need to fast forward this song. I just realized they're gonna ding me if I keep playing it. There we go. I get I get a copyright strike when I play that song. Yeah, well I'll grab my coral colors and see how those those look. I think that's a good idea, Desiree though. All right. Wow, the drums in this song. Much drums, very wow. You know, it's not bad. I think that'll work. Look, he fits in there. I mean, we'll have like a little bit less room once we put in the, uh... but it's not bad. I think that's gonna, eh, okay. We'll do one more round just to be safe. Ugh. Carolyn, actually, the octopus pattern is free, so you don't have to pay for it if you don't want to. You can, I guess. You can become a Club Crochet member. Oh, we. And speaking of Witchy Boy, I saw. Hey, Witchy Boy, I know you're in the chat somewhere. Thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Um, it's gonna, it'll show up here eventually, but uh, I'm gonna put something out for you for becoming a Club Crochet member to say thank you. Let's go with a um. See, what would Witchy Boy want out here? Do we have a witch? Maybe. No. Mm. Here. This is a Witchy Boy. This is a witchy boy. This is for you for becoming a Club Crochet member. Thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Um, we're going to put a Gandalf out here because it is a very witchy boy. That's for you. Do, oh, uh, Rachel asks, do you do the separated row method 
with a chain at the beginning of the round or all connected. Upgrade a row method. I don't think I f understand your question, Rachel. I don't think I get it. Do a separated row method. All connected. Hmm. Oh, you are in the chat. Thank you, witchy boy. You rock. Thank you for becoming a member. I hope you enjoy your membership. He is a witchy boy. Agreed. <laughs> witchy boy. I love, I love Lord of the Rings. There, I said it. I admit it. I love Lord of the Rings. Ugh, fine. Um, Rachel, what? Like, are you working on a specific pattern? Maybe that'll help. It's sort of fuzzy. Oh, th this? These are the hints so far. It says, hint number one, the number of stitches is 192. Hint number two, the colors used is two. So there's two colors used. It's got 192 stitches in it. Um, and then I'll give another hint in uh, just a sec once I make the, um, how about once I make the, the strap for this present. I'm gonna do just a couple more rounds here. And before I get going on this thing, we just wanna make sure that or pinch it in like that because I'm gonna do a, a round here on the inside so that this it holds its shape just a little bit more so we need to fold it keep it pinched in a little bit like that so we know where the ends or where the edges are right and then we're gonna do some fancy footwork here. Um, yeah, we'll start right now. Oh, I hear the puppy downstairs. Downstairs neighbor has a has a little puppy named Crew, and it's very cute. I like it a lot. A little crusty white dog. Very cute. Um, I think we do a decrease. Five. Should I decrease up to there? No, let's do decrease now. One, two, buckle my shoe. And then I think seven. Oopsies. Sorry, I need to count here. I haven't checked the chat. Four, five, six, seven, and then decrease again. Oh, I feel like that decrease is too soon, though. Well, I guess not. Okay. Gotta head out. Fran the nerd, you gotta head out and get ready. Have a good one. Have a good one to you as well. Thank you so much for joining. Um, please like the video if you can before you head out, but thanks so much for joining and i'll see you next week or actually i don't know when the next live stream is going to be just yet i agree hobbit was a little too gimmicky for me one two three four let's do this right here five I think it's seven and then another decrease okay we're almost done I think with this part and then we can add our strap 
go around it. One. Seven, and then decrease. Yep. Okay. This should be good. One. And two. All right. Let's see how this goes. Coffee and crochet. Welcome. I had a feeling you had something going on. Um, Korean class is cool. Very cool. Alright, so I'm just going to hide this end here. And let's see how this all goes with the top on it. Again, we just fold it in half like that. Yep this way all right so we got a pretty tall box here but the top will go on it da, 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 da. not bad pretty good start let's just make sure that this is gonna fit in there oh perfect look at that okay so now we need to make the um, the strap to go around it um, I'm just gonna keep it in there for right now just to keep that in place and then uh, we're gonna need the ribbon string so we need white yarn now we're gonna do the ribbon white so we're gonna do this oh wait that's right we need to start by um, just doing this so actually we do need to take this out here's how you start it you go actually we can just do it maybe I could have kept it in there okay fine We'll keep it back in there. And we go. I think we go like this. It needs to be pretty long. And then we go fold it like that. This is just getting us a general size that we need for our ribbon string. Up the top. And then not it and we're gonna make it thicker than this though we're just gonna use this as like a to help us get the right size for our string tie this a little bit shorter that and like that we'll go ahead and cut it there and cut it there okay so this is going to be the size of our string now we're going to make it better than this though so we're going to um, untie this and now we should have a pretty good size for how long we want to make it Oops. Okay. Two. Ten. Okay. So we're just going to keep doing chains here until this string is as long as the string that we just measured. Should we do a double thickness string like this one or should we do it like this thin? What do you think? I think this thin actually might be enough. Unless you think that's too, sh do you think that's too thin? Should we thicken it up or, or is that good for thickness? Let me know. That is a wizard in the corner, Leaf Sauce. That's uh, it's Gandalf. It's to thank um, uh, 
uh, witchy boy for becoming a club crochet member. Double thickness. All right. The choices have been made. Two comments. The most wizard of wizards. Let's just measure this out really quick. Oopsies. Didn't mean to hit you, Mr. Mr. Camera. Sir. Mr. Camera, sir. We're like a third. Eh. Yeah, keep going. Desiree thinks that this is the good enough thickness. Can you get a close up of Gandalf? Your sure thing. Here you go. Oh, it's Gandalf the Gray. Obviously, he has not turned into Gandalf the White yet. That's another thing that I want to work on next uh, year is a, a month where I talk about um, maybe a tutorial about like how to make your own pod people. Will we be making something for the inside of the presents ask sale? Yes, we will be. We're going to be making a, um, a, uh, a, a, a seahorse today. Um, people, people made, uh, uh, I, I put a poll online to, to ask what um, to make for the inside and a lot of people said a seahorse so that's what we're doing today all right let's measure this okay oh we're almost there only a little bit longer like maybe 30 40 more chains maybe and then we'll just slip stitch our way back across to make it a little thicker. Okay. Might be good. Well, let's do a few more. Five, six. Oh, so close. It's like, like three more inches. We gotta be careful because we do not want to make the strap too short. That's really important because if you make it too short, it just looks, it's just really hard to tie. If you make it too long, you can make it work, but you really want to go for just right if you can. Okay. Ooh, we need like three more chains, three or four more chains. One, two, three, and we'll do four. Okay. Now we're going to slip stitch all the way back down. Um, do we want to go into this stitch? Yeah, we can just go into this one. Let's just go like that. All right? Yeah, this will work. So this is going to take a sec. But we're just going to slip stitch all the way down this chain. What is the red and white thing next to Gandalf? This is a Pikmin. It's gonna. It's a white Pikmin to say thank you to uh, Cooper for donating. He donated 25 bucks, like right in the beginning of the live stream. Um, here, you can actually see it right there. Boop, right there. 
Uh, so yeah, I put out a little Pikmin uh, to say thank you because um, I know he likes Pikmin a lot. Alright. Yikes. We're gonna finish this strap and then I'm gonna drink some coffee and give you a new hint for the giveaway. And this next hint I think will be a little bit closer. It'll it'll help you out a little bit more than the other two. Politician scared straight. I don't get it. Is this something? Is this something I said? I gotta think about more hints here. Whoa, that's a lot of yarn for only 25 buckaroos. I wish you could share it with us too. What kind of yarn you got? What are you gonna make with it all? Can you get a kit for the octopus? Yes, you absolutely can, Carolyn. Um, kits are available on the website, uh, and there is one for the octopus. Uh, I think you can find it at just, I think you can find it in the shop. If you go to clubcrochet.com slash kits, um, that might be the quickest way to find it, but there is a crochet kit for the octopus. Rebecca, what did you miss? Oh my gosh. Well, let me tell you. Oh, Rebecca, you, I can't believe you left. You missed the craziest thing. So um, the spirit of St. Nick himself appeared behind us and he was like, give me all your money. And I was like, dude, what? What are you talking about? And he's like, oh, I'm just messing. It's Christmas time, baby. You've been good. And I was like, dude, who invited you? He's like, you're, you're Nick, right? And I was like, no, I'm Louie. And he's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I was supposed to haunt a guy named Nick. I'll be back. And I was like, please don't. He's like, nah, I'll be back. And then he disappeared and he left forever. It happened on the live stream. If you if you back up the live stream a little bit, you'll see it. Um, but that really happened, right, everybody? Didn't isn't that what they missed? That's what that's what Rebecca missed. Right? Back me up. Llama plays. Is there a video for the reindeer ears I used on uh, for the snowman last week? I did a small tutorial in the actual live stream for the snowman, um, but I don't actually have a video tutorial for those ears just yet. Um, they are pretty easy though. They're just um, all you have to do really is uh, do a six single crochets into a magic loop, and then single crochet into each stitch around uh, for like seven rounds, I think, something like that. Yeah, see, Bronwyn, Bronwyn's backing me up. Yeah, that definitely happened. Santa is a prankster, what are you gonna do, you know?
Ooh, Angela. I think your name is Angela. Angela455. I love your thumbnail. What's your thumbnail of? It's like a little, it's like a little sea boy. It's like a little ocean dude or something. It's very cute. Did you draw that yourself? It looks really cool. It reminds me of, uh, I've been listening to a lot of The Adventure Zone. Um, I don't know if you guys listen to that. It's a podcast uh, where these three brothers and their dad play uh, Dunge Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and the new season started uh, this year. Um, and it's called Ether Sea. And it all takes place in an underwater like world. And it's really, really cool. And there's like little ocean boys like that. Um, if you haven't listened to The Adventure Zone, you totally should. It is like one of the best podcasts ever. Uh, big fan of Balance. That's the first um, the first story they do. It's called Balance. It's very good. Squip. It's a squip. I've never heard of Be More Chill, but I'm gonna check it out. That is really, it's, it's very cute. Bronwyn, you're crocheting for the first time this week. What you, what's, what have you been doing, man? You need to crochet all the time. Yes, Zoe, love Taz, ditto. Hashtag not sponsored, no, it is not. I just like that, I just like the podcast a lot. Jules and I both love it, we are big fans. I love Griffin, he's, he's my favorite, he's, I aspire to someday be like Griffin. That would be great. <laughs> okay. You've been painting doors all week. That's a... That is an interesting thing to have. I, I don't think I would have ever guessed that what you've been doing all week is painting doors. <laughs> okay, so we are at the end of our round here. And we'll go ahead and hide these little ends in and double knot them or whatever. Or whatever. And then uh, we can get started on our our actual gift the seahorse this is i think my favorite color for our gift box so far so i'm really i'm really liking that maybe i'll give maybe i'll give this to our new downstairs neighbor we got a brand new neighbor she is a uh, she can be a little loud but she's so sweet she's just a very nice person but she also does, she plays, she's a DJ. And so like at 3 a.m. she'll start to like blast music, which is not cool. But luckily I'm usually pretty awake at 3 a.m. So it doesn't really, it's not like it wakes me up or anything. Um, but yeah, you can imagine that's, that's not the most fun. We're figuring it out though. She's very sweet. So maybe we'll give this gift to her. I'm sure she'd love it. So all I'm doing right now is I'm hiding in these ends so that we can just cut them close and they won't bug us. I should just do my Christmas shopping in January. That's genius. I I think I really do think that next year I want to be more prepared so I'm not like all freaking out at the end of the year like I did this year and like, oh my God. And it takes forever for gifts to get down in time now with all like the sh weird shipping stuff going on. So it would be so nice to get your my Christmas gifts done way earlier next year. 
the good thing is it was really easy to give um it's really easy for me to give gifts for um little kids because i have like so many just crocheted things that are perfect for kids so i gave a bunch of uh, and those and honestly kids are the most important per people to get to give gifts to on christmas parents family like like adults they don't really care too much about get christmas gifts anymore but i mean they like of course everybody loves a christmas gift but little kids they love christmas gifts so that's always really important to me is to get christmas gifts for uh the kids in my life and i have a few nieces and nephews that i wanted to give some gifts to i think they really liked them i almost gave a dragon almost i was like so close to giving the dragon away but then I was like, mm, I like my dragon. <laughs> I don't want to give away my dragon. I was like, you know what? I'll give him a dragon for his birthday, not for Christmas. My uh, my cousin's kid, uh, his name is Landon. But I want to give him a dragon eventually. Okay. I think that's enough. As far as like these go, do I want a double knot? Nah, right? Nah, it's fine. We're just gonna cut it nice and close here. And pull it just a little bit and then hope that stays. Okay, so next, take this guy out, is we need to, um, we need to go So we need to, actually, you know what? We need to put this guy back in there and I'm gonna stuff it a little bit just so it gets a little bit of like space. Like this. Just just to like give it some, give it some fill in. And then we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go over the top. Actually, let's go over the top like this. So that's even. Yes, good. And then we're gonna go in I think the way I do it is I go like how do I do this? Me along the crochet hook so we need there we go. So we're gonna go start it like this. Oh, I might have goofed it. I might have goofed a little bit. We'll fix that in a little bit. I remember what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to go like this on both sides. And then on the inside, I go like this. So yeah, I make them like crisscross on the inside. Bloop, bloop. And then come out the opposite way so they don't pull each other too much. And we'll go on this side. Okay. And now we do that filling thing. So we'll put this in there, put this in there. that on top and then this goes over it like that and then we pull it tighter go ahead and fix it just twisting it a little like that one side longer Not really. So the next part is tie it down a little bit. We go up the top and do our little knot. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. We're 
just going to get it tied and then we're just going to like slip it over the top so we don't have to keep tying it and double knotting and whatever. But the bad part is we don't have much to work with here. It's pulling the president a lot. I need to fix that a little bit. Could have made this strap a little bit longer, but oh well, we didn't. Okay, we might need to retie that on a little bit, but it works. And then all we need to do is just undo it like this. Then we don't need to untie it and retie it and untie it and retie it. Cut these little fuzzes. Okay, there we go. Now we need to make what's gonna go on the inside of it. Oh, I totally missed that bot. What did it say? Okay, and we were doing purple, right, for our... Oh, wait, we need to give you guys hints now. Okay, so next hint. Put this right here. Oh, put this right here. So we're guessing what's in this. Okay, so you need to uh, guess in the chat. Here, I'll put it in the chat again. Guess what's in the gift box here. Okay, so you're going to guess there. Let's see, has, it, has anybody guessed? Oh, we've only had eight people guess so far. Cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, so hint number one was that there is only 192 stitches in this. Hint number two is that there are two colors being used. And then our new hint is, we're gonna just say keyword. One, two, three. Hint number three keyword math what does that mean well, I don't know we'll have to find out boom there is hint number three the key a keyword for this is math now I might be might be trying to trick you here who knows we'll find out we'll find out we'll find out I don't know maybe I'm trying to trick you who knows what does that mean I don't know I don't know what that means I do know what that means but I'm not telling you all right coffee break Sven, Sven the coffee snob is here to judge our coffee Wow, that's so annoying that that we got bots now, but whatever. Like, what are we going to do? Oh, did we get a new member? No, that's you, Witchy. Is, is that you, Witchy Boy? It says we got a new... Let's see here. Is it the 20... No, it's the 22nd. Hmm, that's weird. Whatever. All right, let's pull up our new pattern. Now we're gonna make a seahorse and I'm gonna make it a little bit different. Um, first off, we're going with purple and we want some lavender. Okay, so we're gonna do purple seahorse, and I grabbed lavender just in case we want to make like the body a different color than the than the different parts of the seahorse. Um, oh, we also need a pipe cleaner and some eyes, and we need to get this 
freaking yarn out of my legs. Pike Leo! And... All right. Oh, okay, that is you. <laughs> Witchy boy. Witchy boy. Okay. All right. So who knows what's in this what's in the gift box? Anybody anybody got any ideas? Math. What the heck does math mean? You know? I know. I know what math means. It's a I'm a tricky I'm a tricky little trickster right now. I'm a little Loki. Luki. I'm Luki. <laughs> that is really stupid. <laughs> All right. I'm Luki. I'm Loki Luki. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to do the. Let's do the body in light purple. Sorry, I had to think about how I was going to do that. It took some time there to think. I'm, I've got an idea. I'm going to start by making the body because I've got an idea on how I want to make the face a little bit different. Ooh, Zoe knows. Zoe knows. So did you guess? Someone, someone. Oh. Well. Oh boy. No, no. I'm not gonna give it away. I'm not gonna give it away. All right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie. <laughs> Dang it, Melanie. How'd you know? Three, four, five, six. Melanie says that their guess is a Mobius stri <laughs> strip. Yes. Genius. How did you know? You foiled me again, Melanie. Because you love the switch, coffee and crochet. I know. I know your situation. What is the prize for the giveaway, asked Seo. The prize is if you get it right first. If you're the first one to get it correct, you win $20 to the Club Crochet store. If you're the, um, if you're right after that, so you're, you're not the first one right, but you're still right, uh, you win $5 to the Club Crochet store. So you win regardless, as long as you get it right. One guess per user, though. Don't you go cheating me, putting in a bunch of guesses. It's just not fair. It's not the Christmas spirit. Is the pattern available on the website? Yes, it is, Mar Mariah. Mariah, yes. Yes, it is available on the website. Three, four, five. Oh, you need to go get a Switch. Switches are the best. It's the best game system ever, in my opinion. I am a, such a Nintendo fanboy, though. I got, um, when I was a kid, I had Nintendo painted on our, um, on the wall. On my wall of my, of my, um, my room. Pretty much until I was like 15. <laughs> I had Nintendo painted on the wall with Mario on one side and Pikachu on the other. I'm such a nerd. That I've always just been such a Nintendo fanboy. I just love them. Okay. Alright, we're going to try to make it so that...
We're going to try to make it so we can add our our no nose on in a tricky way. And we're going to try to add our eyeballs too here. Um, so what I want to do actually is I'm going to... I'm going to open up the Club Crochet app that I have here once it loads. And I'm going to go to my octopus pattern because I want to use the nose from the octopus pattern in this pattern to make it way easier to just quickly um, add the face on. And actually, I think I'm going to do the eyes and the nose that way. What is the tilt five system? I've never heard of that before. Has anybody heard of the tilt five system before? A new game concept. Hmm. <laughs> An infinity scarf for a Smurf. Melanie's trying to decipher my my hints. Okay, let's go to the lesson. So it's I. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do. is we're going to do See, do I want the face cuz I think I want the face to be a little low. No, this will be fine. Um so we're going to go we're going to need white for the eyes too cuz we're going to add the eyes in. Holographics? What? We living in the future? What's happening here? We got holograph we got holographics now? Oh boy. We got an issue is what we got. My yarn got all knotted. There we go. Okay. You know, um, okay, so Zoe says, uh, I recently switched the yarn under method. I actually don't love the yarn under method for a few reasons. One, it hurts my hands. Um, it, it's just like you have to like crochet a little tighter and it's just like more difficult. Um, two, it doesn't work very well for the color changes that I use. So I could only use it in certain patterns. Uh, I can't use it in like all my patterns. It has to be like, certain ones that don't use too many color changes and stuff like that. Um, three, uh, I don't love the stitch as much. Um, here, Bronwyn, I'll show you exactly what she's talking about. Um, I'll undo these stitches in a second. So this, let me zoom in. Okay, so this is the yarn over method, which is what I'm currently doing. You go under or you go into the stitch and you yarn over with this, the yarn over it like that, and you pull it through, and then you yarn over and pull it through it like that, okay? The yarn under method is going into the stitch and grabbing onto the yarn like that and pulling it in, I think this is right, and then going over it and pulling it through like that. I think that's correct. I think that's the right thing, and it makes a little X eventually. So you pull it over like, that I think that's correct. Uh, I can't remember now because I don't like to use it very often if I can avoid it because it just uh, messes things up and it makes it really hard when you want to do like bobble stitches and stuff. But that's just my personal preference. It also makes your pieces a lot smaller. 
Yeah, you can't do color changes with it. At least not the ones that I use. You can't, um, it, it just kind of limits you, uh, in my opinion. I, I don't, I'm just not a big fan of it, personally. I don't hate it. It's just, it makes crocheting a little more difficult for me. Okay, so I am adding eyes now. One, two. We're going to add actual bobble stitch eyes instead of... Uh, Ooh, what a quiet, quiet music is quiet. There we go. We'll go one. But a lot of people do use the yarn under method. Because the second yarn over is what makes your wrist hurt. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and so yeah, and and I use bobble stitches in like all my patterns, so you can imagine that it's really difficult for me to use. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do the nose in a different way, in the same way that I did do the nose for the octopus, so that we don't have to actually sew anything on. Save us a little bit of effort, and then over here that down to there keep this white yarn out of the way we're doing some fancy footwork here fancy hook work oh why don't I say that more often okay and then um, what do I do after that okay then we slip stitch into the first stitch like this. And then we turn, chain one, and then slip stitch into each of the Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just use our smaller crochet hook here. I crocheted it too tightly. One. Two. basically putting the octopus face on our on our um, seahorse instead to make it a little quicker and easier but <laughs> it's not like crazy easy because I crocheted it so tightly and this yarn is very um, stiff oh, I can get under the stitch all the way we looking this one sorry I I have to focus on this I haven't checked the chat in a second um yes there are going to be more clues yes there are once I get a little bit further ahead here uh, I think I'll do one or two more clues, probably. Probably two. That's that, and then I think we can start. Go to this one now. Bah. Gotcha. And chain one, 
Switch back to the other crochet hook. There we go. See, look, and now we got a little mouth. It's gonna be kind of weird because it won't have as long of a mouth, but I'm just curious. Let's see how we'll see how it looks. Llama plays. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say nothing to you. But, uh, all right, let's keep rock and rolling. One, two, skip to my loo. We're making the tiniest little octopus right now, but we're not really making an octopus. It just kind of looks like that. All right. That was a tough round. Not gonna lie, that was a tough one. But let's keep rocking and rolling. And I think all I'm going to do now is another round of just single crochets. Wah. Wah. It's my Waluigi. Oh, I agree with Melanie. Don't forget to hit the like button or else... Hey, Tessalarian, welcome. Hello. See, so we got maybe a little bit of more of like a little, a little mwah of a mouth. It'll be different, but might be interesting. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Then, okay, so one, two, three, a short snouted seahorse, as they call it in the wild, the short snouted seahorse. That actually sounds really cool. <laughs> the short snouted seahorse glides triumphantly through Beds of seagrass. Name. To find a mate. <laughs> All right. You can have a mohawk. But first, we need to add some eyeballs. We'll have the mohawk later. We're gonna do big old, big old eyes this for this fella. My brother just texted me asking if I ordered an OLED switch, but I did not. But I'm pretty sure Jules wanted to give me that for Christmas. All right, so we're just gonna toss that eye in there. And duck. We go like this and like that. We're gonna give him cute. Cute eyes. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh wow. Much cute, very wow. Gonna use 
our na needle here to kind of open up these stitches a little bit more. Good start, though. It really does look like the tiniest, idiest, bittiest uh, octopus. A <laughs> cat says they make up for wrist issues with bad knees and depression. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Ditto. Except for the knees. Mine is a back. Okay. We got our eyes on there. Our eyes on the prize. Pretty adorable. Okay, now we are going to, um, because we'll give him a little head spiky thing too. Um, and now we continue. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, I guess we're supposed to add our fin to their head now, but I think I'm going to do that a little later. So I think we'll just decrease down now. The bot is back. I don't see no bot. Hmm. No bots allowed. Okay. Um, all right. So we do one single crochet. Uh oh. <laughs> Triple sneeze for all you counting out there. Wait. <laughs> Catorce, I think. Go. I got a fuzzy in my nose. And he needs to be evicted. So quiet. Too quiet. This winter music is so quiet. These eyes are, st are just too cute. Oh my gosh, who am I going to give this to? They're going to love it. Whoever I give it to is going to love it. We'll put a... We might even put some like stronger wire in the tail, maybe? Eh, no, we'll just do a pipe cleaner. Okay. Bless you, Allah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cat of Crafts. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Melanie. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that noggin. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> hello, I didn't see you there. So cute. You guys, we need to name this thing. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let me get it, ready? Why does our nose grow its own fuzzies, but foreign fuzzies must be evicted? There is the question for the century. Why does that? Why does that be? One. 
Gotcha. Sneasel. The seahorse. That's pretty good. Baby Bubbles. Pretty good. Edgar. Not bad. I like Bubbles. Seymour. Seymour the seahorse. Seymour the seahorse. One, two, okay. So that'll be in round nine for me. If you're following along at home, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna stuff the head just a itsiest bitsiest amount. I'm thinking we give them mohawk, right? Because there's two options for the fins. You can either put the two tiny fins on the side of the head, or you can put two tiny fins on the side of the body and then the vice versa for the long fin. Uh, but I think it's going to look better if we put the long fin on the head so that it's got more of a mohawk. I think a mohawk is cute. Gosh, this is... This? This? Is very cute. Trumpet. Oh, Trumpet. That's a cute name. Oh my god, that's such a cute name for a seahorse. Can you imagine having a little baby seahorse in a in a in like a a a thing and calling it Trumpet? Oh my god, that's such a cute name. I really like that name a lot. Trumpet. My name is Trumpet. One, two, three, and then you want me to do. No, we're gonna do. We're, I'm, I'm switching the pattern up just a little bit, because I put the eyes and the face in a little weird. So I moved the part over. Improvisation. Ha cha cha. right here okay hello hello my name is trumpet Trump trumpet hello my name is trumpet maybe that's how he talks oh hello my name is trumpet that is a, a seahorse's accent if you're ever wondering like what's that accent it's a seahorse's accent. It goes like this. Hello, my name is Trumpet. How are you? I'm a Trumpet. I'm a adorable seahorse. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, let's finish. I'm going to finish this round, and then I'm going to add our top fin we gotta make it obviously and then I'll give you our fourth and well hmm. okay I'll, I'll give you f I'll get what do I do for a fourth hint though hmm. what could we do for a fourth hint <laughs> hmm I might actually not do the fourth hint for a second because I have one more hint, but it's like, it's gonna give it away. So I gotta be careful with that. Um, okay, so before I get to that, let's add our top fin in dark purple. Hello, Bobby. We are making, currently we're making a seahorse. We just made our uh, our box for it. So this is this is our Christmas box. We're making a gift for someone. Um, we don't know who yet, but we're gonna put it the seahorse in this box. And you can see we got our little. Put that over it. 
So we crocheted this, and we're making a seahorse for it. Hello. Hello. And so far, I'm pretty sure we're going to name him Trumpet because it's a very cute name. It's okay, Mariah. You might have got it right early. If you got it right first, then you win uh, $20. So, I mean, honestly, it's not like a bad idea to guess early because you have a better chance to win a lot more. Trumpet, the Swedish seahorse. The Swedish seahorse. Hello, my name is Trumpet. I am a Swedish seahorse, yes. Sliss stitch in the fur. Yikes. There we go. Okay. Four. Oh my gosh, Trumpet, you're gonna have the coolest mohawk. All the kids at school are gonna be like, whoa, look at Trumpet's mohawk that he got after Christmas break. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Alright. Let's see how this. So we're gonna go like this. It's gonna be sewn on like that. And everybody's gonna be like, whoa, trumpet, you look so cool. Okay. I'm gonna go. Bye, Llama. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you had fun. I'll see you next live stream. Uh, it'd probably be in the new year, so I'll see you next year. Uh-oh, what did I do there? Oh, boy. Ah, jeez. Ah, gee, Willikers. Ah, gee, Willikers. What a great timing for you to join the live stream coffee and crochet because I have not had to deal with those bots yet. And uh, yeah, you're your savior. Thank you so much for joining. One, two. I pea shape you. Like, like a little green like a little green pea shape. Oh yeah, trumpet, you looking so cool. I always liked mohawks. I always wish that I had the guts to pull off a mohawk, but I do not. Same thing as gauges. I think a lot of people in the chat are going to think that's really silly. But when I was in high school, I wanted gauges really bad. But my earlobes are so tidy. Look how tiny my ears are. Look at them. I can't fit a gauge in there. Crazy. And also my mom would have killed me. She would have moited me.
I'm sure you know how that is, though. There's just certain things that your mom's like, mm-mm, no. And you're like, but I want it. You can't tell me what to do. Hi, Tina. Welcome to the stream, Tina. How are you? Yes, let's really hope. Okay. So our boy Trumpet's got a nice little mohawk now. Look at that. Look at this fancy boy. Oh my god, he's so fancy. He's like, he's like, mess with me. Mess with me. Wait, how does Trumpet sound? Hello, my name is... No, wait, it was Swedish. Swedish. Hello, my name is Trumpet. I am a little seahorse. I don't know if this was the right accent, but it is what is my accent now. Oh, I didn't realize you have a daughter named Jules. That's cute. I didn't know that. All right. Back to crocheting the body. Happy birthday to your daughter. Hmm. <laughs> The song? Is the song is your jam? It's so quiet. How do you hear it? Can you hear it? What's it saying? What's it say? Okay. Increasing to math, 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 math. Everybody likes to do math. Wait, z equals x, y squared, three, four. Math, 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 and math. I'm a genius. Emerald Turtle, welcome to the chat. Welcome. Monsieur Tatel. Hey, como se dice? Oh, wait, no. Como estas? Yikes. Who 
visible decrease and visible decrease. Dude, Tina, thank you so much. Hold on, let me put something out for you, Tina. Merry Christmas to you as well, Tina. Hope you're having a great, a great holiday. Let's check out. Oh, whoa, did Tom the Yeti? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So much has happened. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Wait, before you go, Cooper and Normal Gecko, thank you so much. You're the best. Cooper and Normal Gecko say they got a skedaddle. Can't wait to see tr Trumpet finished. Happy holidays from us both. I guess I guess we'll hang up first. I guess so. Well, thank you so much. And, I mean, let's put out another... Let's put out your purple Pikmin to join your white Pikmin here. So this is for Cooper. His little purple Pikmin. Again, these are coming to the... Um, the rough draft soon slash not so rough draft even sooner i hope so this is out for you put that right there and then uh uh so thank you so much cooper tom the yeti can't stick around but want to say merry christmas and happy new year louis tom thank you so much well let's i mean let's put out let's put out mr tom the yeti this is for you tom our, our best yeti best yeti pal and he'll be here protecting this present for the rest of this uh for us this live stream and then for tina stay tina let's see what what do we want what does tina get Ooh, what does tina get let's see tina tina fofina fofi five fobina tina Let's do, oh, I don't know. How about, um, how about this little worker bee? A little worker bee for Tina. This is for you, Tina. Thank you for your support, Tina. We got a little worker bee. He's got his little lunch bag and he's got his little hat for you. And you know what? Let's see if we can't use this. We'll use this really long needle. We'll go in the side of Tom. I know, Tom. Chill out. It's okay. You're right. Yancey. I'm sorry, Tom. His name is Yancey. We'll go like this. And now your bumblebee will be flying. Oh, he doesn't want to stay. Okay, we'll put the bumblebee back. We'll put the bumblebee right here in the lap of... Oh! Oh, what a disaster. Oh my gosh. We're under attack. There we go. A boombalabee. A boombalabee. Okay. We're good. We're good. Let's keep rocking and rolling. I'm going to put this gift over here, though. Mary Crimbo. Ouch! <laughs> Tom. Ouch! <laughs> You're funny. All right. Where were we? We want to keep decreasing down. Okay. Um, let's add a little bit of stuffing into our body right now real quick. Yeah, bots are fierce today. They're on fire. They're like... I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You're kicking butt though. There is no, no bot that can hide from you. Ba ba da ba. Oh my gosh, this little dude is look. He looks so. You know what it kind of looks like? Anybody else been watching? Um... No, nah, it doesn't really look like this. Never mind. Forget what I said. Forget about it. But has anybody been watching uh, uh, Centaur World? I love Centaur World. It's such a good show. There is going to be another clue. There's only going to be one more clue, though. So let me finish up 
Um, I'll tell you what. I'll finish up our the bottom of our seahorse, uh, and then I'll give us the clue, and then I'll sew on. We'll make our little fins and put those together, and then we'll, um, yeah. We'll we'll release the winner. We'll release the winner to the wild. Johnny! Welcome to the stream! Hello, Johnny! How are you? What are you up to? What you making today? Hello, Melodays! I just saw yours too. Hello! Hello! Okay, and this last one we just need to do. Invisible decrease. And then two. One. Two. And then another one. And then two. All right, we're on the home stretch of Mr. Trumpet here. More stuffing. More stuffing, more me. I sound like the coal. That's how Nicole talks. She goes, ah, boo, yeah, boo, 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 boo. Nicole is our um, head of brain space navigation at Club Crochet. She does all the kits. She just wanted to be called the head, head of brain space navigation. <laughs> oh, yes, Johnny. I love it. I can't wait to see. I'll check it out right after this. I'm very, very curious of what that looks like. A Santa head that is eating a towel. How weird. I love it. So we're going to sew on the remaining fin after we finish uh, the body of this and do a last hint for a giveaway. We can see our little guys coming together. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, I love that little nose. It's so cute. One. Hey, yeah. Two. I think we need to switch crochet hooks here. It's getting a little small. Three. Four and. Oh wait, that was five. Okay, so. Now we've got seven rounds of just single crochets. This little itty bitty single crochet is just going to be like that long. Who posted it. Here, wait, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's look real quick at Johnny's crazy snow or Santa real quick. And show off the, the, um, Discord channel. So if you haven't yet checked out the Discord channel, we've got a special Discord that's specifically for um, for sharing, like just for talking and sharing and stuff. Look, this is Johnny's Santa that she was just talking about. <laughs> looks so cool. How does it do that? How does it stay closed like that? That's really cool. So if you haven't yet, you should totally check out this Discord channel. It's awesome. It's like, oh, look at that Chucky. Oh my God, that's crazy. What else? Let's see. 
let it load. Oh, look at little pugs! Oh, look at this! Oh my god, that's so cute! I haven't seen that one yet. Love it. Love it. So check out the Discord channel. You can find it just by going to clubcrochet.com slash Discord. There's a link in the description, too. Um, and yeah, we just... we It's like a place where you can talk to people, chat, and hang out, and just do whatever, really. I want to start doing more games there so we can, like, play games together. It is very fun. Johnny, I love it. How many more rounds we got here? Do we have to do? Yeah. One, two, okay, so we need seven of these. Oh, yo, yo, yo. What's a little animal on my shirt? That's a great question. Thank you for asking, Leaf Sauce. So this is actually a t-shirt that we have available in the shop. I call it the Pocket Monster shirt. It Look, it's a little ogre with a crochet hook. See? See? A little ogre with a crochet hook. Actually, I think I have, here. Here's another one that I have. You can see, a little up close, more up close. See? He's a little ogre with a crochet hook in a pocket. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, um, with the, especially with this color of t-shirt, but you can kind of see see the outline of the pocket. So I call him the pocket monster. And he's like in the middle of crocheting. He's got a little crochet hook there. It's available in the shop if you want to buy one. Yes, I'm super proud of that t-shirt. Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. I love coming up with ideas for t-shirts and then making them into reality. It's one of my favorites. One of my faves. Let's see how many more rounds we got here. We've only done three. We need seven. Yikes, that's a long tail. It feels like it's so long, but I always forget that it's going to curl up, so it won't be that long. Thank you, Coffee. And crochet. Okay. Where are we at here? How, how are we looking here? Oh my gosh. Trumpet, you're so cute and dancey. Oh my gosh. Doo dee doo dee doo ba doo ba doo doo doo. You ba doo ba doo ba doo. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're on six rounds. And then we need one more. After this. Wow. Dude, Coffee and Crochet, you are on fire right now. You keep catching these people before I even see them in the chat. You're like so fast. It's crazy. Oh, but I just realized they actually appear over here on the chat so I can see it there. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. One more round. And then I, and then actually two more rounds, but one more round just single crochets. Yeah. 
Stitch. Okay. It is crazy. I think it's because they're real accounts that are just hacked or something. Something annoying like that. It is very frustrating though. Also the fact that the that the link that they're sharing is like really short. I don't know how they managed to put like essentially a malware, like a like a bad link that can just be like five letters long. I don't understand how that's possible, you know? Okay, last stitch here. And we can cut the yarn. Okay, pull that up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sew this closed and then I'll give you the last hint for our gift box giveaway and then uh, I'll add my fins on the side of Mr. Mr. Trumpet here. And then after that, um, we will do, I'll, I'll reveal the answer. So you'll have, you'll have probably like three or four minutes between the last hint and entering the giveaway. So if you want to enter the giveaway, um, wait for just a second. Yes, Johnny, I did see how you uh, added the towel with a little towel ring, except you used a shower ring. Very clever, very clever. Very clever. Okay. Oh, Zoe, I remember that. Kept saying, I want to play Roblox with you. And I was like, I don't play Roblox. <laughs> yes, be very careful about clicking links in chats regardless. Um, I think what we're going to do... I actually used a whole pipe cleaner. Usually I don't do that. So I'm going to fold it in... Well, I'm not gonna fold it perfectly now. I'm gonna I only want it to go play that like like that far. So we'll go ahead and fold it right to there. And then I don't know, we'll twist up like that. Hopefully this can get stuffed in there good enough. We will find out though. I'm gonna have to use this to kinda create some space for it though. I'm sorry, Mr. Trumpet. I don't mean to hurt you, I swear. Go, go, go. Go, Mr. Trumpet, go. You must, you must make it. Oh gosh, it's not gonna make it. Hold on. Hold on. We have to alter this. I don't know if this is gonna be long enough anyhow. I want it a little longer than that. Okay. Let's use, I got an idea. I got I to gotta, I gotta pivot. Okay, we're gonna use an actual wire instead, which will actually be better as far as like being able to bend it. Okay, there we go right there. Let's pull it up just a little. Woo! That was satisfying. Okay. There we go. Now we'll just sew it closed and twist it up. Much easier. Flip 
or closed and then we'll twist it actually let's just go ahead and hide this in I was gonna try to use this to sew it on so it didn't like come apart but the wire in there is so strong that I don't actually need to okay go all right okay now I'm gonna give you the last hint before I add on our fins and call it a uh, a day call it done um so Bronwyn I can't knit I actually don't know how to knit um never learned uh, okay last hint last hint last hint um uh, okay hint number four well, first off, actually, hold on. first off, let's move over this. This is going to be the last hint for our giveaway. Okay. Hint number four. Hint. How do I want to say this? Number four. Um, let's go. Key word. This is going to give it away, I think. The key word is yummy. So that is the last key word there. You have got until I finish up our gas here. Oopsies. No, wait. No, wait. It, uh, I did that wrong. Key. Oh, wait. Guess here. You've got until I finish up our. There we go. Okay. You have got until I finish up our seahorse here to guess what is in this gift box for your chance to win. Um, if you get it right, you'll win $5 or $20 if you're the first one to get it right. Uh, you have all your hints right here. We'll go through it one more time. Hint number one is there are 192 stitches used. It is a pattern from the Club Crochet Library that's in here. Hint number two is that there are two colors being used in this pattern. Hint number three is a keyword math. And hint number four, our last keyword is yummy. So there are all your hints for the giveaway. You have until I finish this fella, so only a few more minutes. Ugh to guess and if you get it right you win five bucks so spurgo spurgo Kanova's like I got it all right I gotta go quick before for you all get you all get it quick 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 all right one two three Two. One. Two. Move this guy over. All right. One fin done. You got to guess in the giveaway link that I linked. It's in the top of the description. Try not to discuss it too much in the chat if you can.
Okay, Mariah, that is good to know. I will, um, if, if I... Okay. I'll, I'll figure out how to get that if, if it's needed. Oh, yes, and do what Bobby said. Go push the subscribe button and the like button if you can. That would really help the channel out. That would be really cool. If you could like and subscribe down below. And I will be back uh, live streaming again in the new year. So we're gonna I'm going to take a little break to finish up this year. Uh, just nice and easy, trying to get prepared for next year. And then in the new year, we're going to start with a, a big old live stream of crocheting our favorite pattern from last year. And of course, we'll probably do a giveaway. I mean, let's be real, right? We'll probably do one. But yes, please like down below. It would be nice of you. Okay. I'm going to sew this on. I'm going to sew these little fins on. And then we're going to stop the giveaway. So go enter now. I think I'm going to go pretty low with these, like down here. I think that's cute. So we're going to go like there. Trumpet, you're the cutest little dude I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Someone's gonna love you too. I can't wait to give you away for Christmas. One, two, like right here. So I want it to be like fin, the fin's kind of like pointing downwards a little bit. So like an actual seahorse would be, you know, because staying upright. I don't know how actual seahorses actually swim, because it seems insane to me that these things can swim with these little, the ittiest bittiest fins, you know? But they can. They do. Oh my gosh, it looks like a fairy. Oh, so cute. Hello, fin. I like the low fin though. It's cute. It's unique. Bronwyn, is this the same pattern that's on the website? It is to a degree. I did change the face of the pattern to do, um, I used uh, the face of the octopus pattern instead to make the, um, the little snout here and the eyes, just to make it a little bit easier to like, uh, to make and put together. So I didn't have to like actually sew a snout on, you know? so. Everything about this pattern is the same except for that. Desiree, thank you so much for the donation. You are amazing. And you have a wonderful smile. And also, your hair is nice too. I hope you have a great day, Desiree. Hold on, let me put something out for Desiree real quick. You're, you're postponing the end of the giveaway, Desiree, with your donations. Not that I don't appreciate it. I do appreciate it. But you are giving people more time than I have allotted. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, seahorse is done, -zo. Oh my glob. Look at this little dude. Oh my gosh. Maybe these bottom parts are a little lower than we should have done, but I don't know. I think it's pretty cute. He looks like a little fairy now. Trumpet, you're so cute. Oh my God, someone's gonna love you so much. Okay, something out for Desiree. Let's put out a, hmm, what is Desiree? What, what would Desiree like? Let's put out. Let's put out this little guy. Look at him. He's like, hello. I don't know what this thing is, but I made it. And uh, now he's here for Desiree. Oh, cat. Okay. And another thing for cat. Um, what do we put out for cat? Thank you so much, cat, by the way. 
We'll put out, um, we'll put out, uh, eh. yeah, we'll put this guy out. It's a Larvitar. It's a, the tiniest Larvitar Pokemon ever that I've ever made. Oh my gosh, look how small he is. Wow, so cute, so small, much, much wow. For you, Cat, thank you for your donation. I super duper appreciate it. And now, for reals though, I'm hiding the hints. And we are closing the giveaway. If you haven't entered yet, sorry, not sorry. Let's refresh it once more. Accepting responses, no. Wow, a lot of people got it right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ready? Here we go. What is in this gift box? Again, let's go through the hints one more time. Hint number one was there's 192 stitches. Hint number two was it has two colors used. Hint number three is the keyword math. And hint number four is the keyword yummy. What is in the box? What's in the box? Da -da -da -da. It's a tiny pie. Look at how cute this little pie is. He's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Pie, get it? P I pie? Like like math? You get it. It's so cute. Look at the Oh my god, it's the cutest little pie ever. Okay, so the winner of the giveaway was hold on hold on individual wait how do I do there ah uh, wait summary okay the winner is oh I know who the winner is what am I talking about I saw her put dance like right away How do I see them? Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Let's put it this way. Um, cool. Okay, and the winner was... Coming in way before anybody else, once that second hint came in, was Zoe! Congratulations, Zoe! You win $20 to the Club Crochet store, and for... Everybody else that won, let's see, we also got um, Emma won, uh, a big brained genius, Mariah, <laughs> who put their email in wrong, so I have to figure out how to get your email right. Um, maybe, Mariah, why don't you put in the chat right now what the first part of your email is? Um, other winners, Angela, Cat won, yep. Someone that just said, yep, one. Mint and Moment. Cooper, Emerald Turtle, Sow, Leaf Sauce, Canova. I mean, everybody won. At the end, at the end, it was like everybody. Cat, Jasmine, Angel. Nope. Someone, oh, wait, no, wait. Never mind, they didn't get it right. Annika, Annika got it right. Good job. Congratulations to everybody that got it right. And I'm going to go ahead and put our present together real quick. I think we want to put... So say bye. Say bye to our cute little trumpet. Oh my god, he's so cute. I can't wait to give you away. Someone's going to love you so much. Trumpet, you're so cute. Okay, we're going to put trumpet in here. Go ahead and we'll add a little bit of stuffing on the outsides. Just to give the... Give the gift box a little bit more oomph. A little bit more oomph. Mariah, did you add your thing? I need the... Mariah, we need your email, but like, I don't know how. Maybe message me? I'll remember who you are. Or email me at louie at clubcrochet.com and I can send it over. And I'm going to send over everybody who won... Uh, Five dollars to the Club Crochet store, and then Zoe, you win twenty dollars to the Club Crochet store, so you won the big one. 
My email is louie at clubcrochet.com. L-O-U-I-E at clubcrochet.com. All right, let's put this gift box all together. Put this over it like this. All right. And we'll put this one over it like this. And there is our gift box. I guess I could stuff it maybe a little bit more. Let's go ahead. We'll just we'll stuff it just a little bit more than that because it kind of looks a little deflated, especially on this side. So we'll go ahead and we'll stuff it in on this side a little bit. And on this side a little bit. Why not? You know, why not? I'm gonna miss you, trumpet. All right. There we go. Right there. There we go. Okay, guys. Almost there. And then this one. Up. Up. There we go. Look at what a cute little gift. Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm going to give this to someone. They're going to love it so much. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. What happened? Oh no. Someone said, oh no. For some reason. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it's okay. You don't need to. Um, worry about that. Oh, and Desiree, thank you so much for the last second donation. I super appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, I will see you in the new year. I hope you guys all have a wonderful Christmas. Happy holidays or whatever you're celebrating. Happy holidays. Um, and I am going to go out by uh, showing that song again, that thing that me and Jules made. So if you haven't already, if you weren't here in the beginning, um, Jules and I made a song for our friend's Christmas album. And I'll put that again in the chat real quick. One second. I'll put the link to our full Chris our full friend's Christmas album in the chat. I think you guys are gonna really like it. It's this little skit that me and Jules put together um, that we're really, really proud of. Uh, it's it's from a another artist that goes by Stan Freeberg. We pretty much copied his, their thing. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and wait. Masha, I just saw your tip. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't see it earlier, Masha. Thank you so much for your tip. I super appreciate it. Thank you. Minton, is that you, Minton moment? I'm so sorry I didn't see it sooner. And Kat, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Now I'll play the thing for you. Ready? Here we go. All right, guys. Pasta la pizza. No, you hang up first. And uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Enjoy our little Christmas, uh, I don't know, thingamabob that we made. Thingamabob that we made. Hold on, I'll, I gotta turn that up. We gotta go to um, this. Okay. All right, guys. Pasta la pizza. Okay, kitties, it's Christmas Eve. Time for Betty Bye. Look, uh, one story and hit the sack, eh? All right, Uncle Louie. How about the night before Christmas? Yeah, how about that? I mean the poem. Say it, please. All right. Please. Okay, okay, close your eyes, eh? Now get the picture. It was a dark night, see? And there was, like, snow. And there's these house, uh, see, and uh, Mom and I was nestled uh, down for a long winter's nap, and she in a black denim kerchief, and me in my motorcycle cap, see, and there rose these hooves on the roofs, uh, the hoofs on the roof. I'll tell you, it's more like a clatter up there. You get the picture? But Uncle Louie, do it from the start, like, twas the night before okay, Christmas. Okay, okay. And... All right, close your eyes, huh? Twas the night before... Uh, the night before... Christmas. Ah, yeah, Christmas. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, right? Right. Okay. 
Now these children were all snestled, all snug in the beds. Well, they weren't necessarily snestled, you know? They were, uh, I'll tell you, they had these visions of, you know, uh, sweet plums? Sugar plums! Look, uh, just close your eyes. Okay, Uncle Lou, but when does the Santa Claus part come? I'm coming to it, I'm coming to it, uh, get the picture, eh? Remember when I told you about that roof, roof where there rose such a clatter up there, remember that? Yes. Well, that clatter comes from this little bitty sleigh that was fastened to these eight tiny deer. They had these little deer feet, you know? Uh-huh. Well, that sleigh was driven by this guy. He had these whiskers, kind of like Grandpa Bobby, only white. You dig? I dig. All right. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks, uh... Well, what he had there was his belly. It's pretty funny with all that ho-ho-ho and all that. And I had to laugh, like, in spite of myself, you know? But Uncle Lou... Close your eyes, eh? But the reindeer, you forgot where Santa whistled and shouted and called them by name. Okay, all right, I'm coming to that. Now get the picture, eh? Ready for the name? Yes, yes! You sure you're snestled in your bed? I'm snestled, I'm snestled. All right, here they come. Now Dasher. Why is his name Dasher? Now Dancer, now Prancer, now Merlin, now Gino. Hold it. Now Lola. Hold it. Bridget it. Uncle Lou. Remember the names? It's Dasher, ah. Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. Close your eyes, eh? Remember that jolly fellow I told you about uh, steering them deers? Yes. Well, he came sliding through this here fireplace, or uh, spreading a bunch of toys, and took off, you know, and... Uh, the silly moon there eh? looked over his shoulder and hollered his darling Liv. Excuse me for the moment. Uncle Lou's asleep, but what St. Nick really said was, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Alright, they get the picture. Hey everybody, just wanted to quickly say thank you so much again for joining. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, skit that me and Jules put on. And uh, I will see you guys in the new year. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it whenever we come out with new uh, live streams and stuff. Okay guys, bye! Now you, no, you hang up first. Oh my gosh, you hang up first. Oh my gosh, you're so bad. Oh wow.